Hello, and welcome to episode 22 of Talking Snacks, a gaming podcast. I'm joined by... Cuff Hopper. As always. Normal speaking voices. Normal speaking voices. I tried to be quiet again. We don't want to miss half of episode 20. Welcome to the ASMR episode of Talking Snacks. Just a, loud enough, but not too loud. A gaming ASMR podcast. Rawr. Rawr XD. <laughs> Um, yep, this is, uh, this is us, as you know us. Um, coming to do the, the news. Yes. That's but, what we, that's what we do. That's what you do. What? I just, I just here. I'm just here. I exist. But you help create good gaming banter. You know your shit. I present you with these articles, we go over them before we start. And I shit on them. Do you shit on them? I don't feel like you shit on them. 90% of the things I shit on them. I don't think you do. Well, if it's, re- if it's related to Blizzard, I do. Oh, okay. Yeah. We'll talk about that in a bit. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we should have shit on them when we had the chance. Man, it's almost like they're an evil corporation or something. Yeah. Um, I guess we'll start this off like uh, we always started off. How'd your week? Week was all right. Well, I guess my past five days were all right, seeing as how... Yeah, we had a late start on yeah. last week's. We did it on a Wednesday night, I think. Yeah. Well, um, close enough to a week. But yeah, it was pretty cool. Birthday... Uh, Buddy Wyatt had a birthday Friday. Got to go hang out with him. It was cool. Fun. Then went back to his place Sunday for Super Bowl. So, yeah. Equally fun for both of them. Yeah. Well, the Super Bowl... I mean, the hanging out stuff was cool, but uh, in terms of the Super Bowl, this is probably the least hype I've ever been about a Super Bowl. Just because, like, I didn't really know either one of the teams. I didn't follow it. When I showed up, Wyatt said that uh, Simpsons predicted the 49ers would win. Wyatt gets on them... uh... So, I mean, that's... that's the conspiracy theory yeah, kick that, things, man. And that's pretty much the only reason why I pulled for the 49ers. That's the only thing I had going for it, if that tells you anything about my, my passion for this past Super Bowl. I didn't give a shit about until halfway through, and then I chose the underdog and was like, I hope they come back and win. And they did. Yeah. So, yay. It's a goddamn hell of an underdog story, no doubt. They were behind, what, 10 points at one point? Yeah, I think it was more than that, but I could be wrong. We... About the the halftime show is when I started realizing I had drink a lot. Right. And another thing, the uh, the commercials weren't really hitting on much this year. It seemed there like. was two or three that I enjoyed that I remember. I mean, yeah, there there was there was a handful. The baby not one was was dope. Oh, I got hype. I like the Groundhog Day one. That was cool. That the, was really cool. The Charlie Day Tide ones was was pretty cool. Oh, the Rick and Morty. Oh yeah, the Rick and Morty one was was all right. But. Uh, I was most confused by. Uh, Oh, fuck, I forgot his name. Brian Cranston's Shining Mountain Dew commercial. Oh, yeah, that one was wild. I don't understand why that happened. Don't you want a Mountain Dew now? Consumerism, consumerism, subliminal imagery. No. Still still off sodas. Right. Going strong. But Actually, it was diet. It was Mountain Dew diet. Oh, was it? I believe so. I think I freaked out on Friday because I drank a soda as Chaser. <laughs> Remember that? Diet I was like, no! Up. Your diet shot, it's over. <laughs> Pack it up. Oh, yeah. But no, generally, like, every Super Bowl, there's always, like, there's, like, a good amount of commercials that are like, oh, yeah, did you see that one? Did you see that one? That one was funny. That one. Well, did you sit there the whole time? Because I felt like we started mingling about halftime. Well, that, and it was kind of loud in there, so you couldn't really hear the commercials anyway. So there might have been, there might have been some good ones that just kind of went by the wayside. And there was a lot of, like, walking back and forth, mingling and, and stuff in between. Uh, no snacks. Breaks and things. They had barbecue? That, yeah. I didn't, that I didn't realize until after the game was already over. Boy, did I... I guess I'm just missing... Cabe, you should have made the fucking bean dip. <laughs> I'm missing the fucking bean dip. He makes a killer bean dip. I don't think I've ever had the bean dip. It's pretty good. If I would, if it's as good as you say, I think I would have remembered it. But that's neither here nor there. You should just make it... What is the only way to a Super Bowl to make it? Why not just make it whenever? I don't know. It's only like five canned items and you stir it up and warm it and you fucking mix it Was up. Was it like a cheesy dip or is it, what is it? It's like, like a... beans, cheese, sour cream, hot sauce. All of those sound phenomenal to me. Yeah. So. It's really easy to make, but give, you gotta give him something, but I don't make <laughs> Caves, it, he makes Caves it. Caves homemade bean dip. Get yours over here. It doesn't come in a can, it comes in five. <laughs> <There> <laughs> homemade from a can. Uh. But aside from uh, Super Bowl things and birthday things, uh, did a little bit of gaming. Wrapped up the, the Kingdom Hearts 3 DLC stuff with a nice, neat little bow. There's an impossible trophy on there that pisses me off that I'm probably not going to get, at least for a while. Um, Don't let it break you. It's rough, dog. 
it's it's fucking rough. Basically, after you beat the DLC, you unlock like little in-game trophies you can do, little challenges. And, and there's a trophy for <laughs> completing all the in-game challenges. Yeah, yeah. and uh, they're called the easy circuits and the pro circuits. And the easy circuits are literally just like kill this amount of enemies in this amount of time. I was like, eh, no problem. That took like maybe an hour at best. But the pro one is like you have to replay the whole game with certain conditions on. Basically, like a pro strat speedrunner person would play through the game, and you have to hit a certain score to get the top rank. Otherwise, you won't get the trophy. So I was like, "Eh." Mm, how long's the game? It's a good, good fucking while. So yeah, that's why I, that's I a, can't. I can't one. do yeah, no, speed runs like that because I one try and I'd be fucking just livid. Yeah, see, so that's that's rough. If it would have been anything else, I'd have been all right with it, but. Starting up a new game with no cure items, no magic, no form changes, no... It's, it's literally just... Uh, bare it's, bones? It's bare bones, just one hit mode, essentially, the whole game. Like, I don't know. Not for, not for me. That's too fucking much for a trophy. But, uh... Found out who the secret boss was, and... Spoilers incoming for Kingdom Hearts 3 things, if you care about that, but, uh... Skip forward, I don't know, 30 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of fan theories floating around out there that, uh... The secret boss, named Yazora, is tied to Noctis somehow. Because he looks strikingly similar to, like, young Noctis before, you know, shit went sideways in Final Fantasy XV. And there's a lot of theories and stuff going around that it's like his nobody. Or like his uh, heartless version or nameless version, whatever the fuck. So, we'll see where that goes in the future. Awesome. That was perfectly 30 seconds. Oh, nice. <laughs> I was counting. I tried. I might be a second or two off. But aside from that, still on that uh, near automata grind. Yeah. Right back, got right back where I left off before that ending that erases all of your your game data. So finally, pick up the pick up where we left off with that. So that's that's a thing. Is this, this is gonna that, that'll be the platinum, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Still still working on that. Uh, my week pretty close to yours. The the, the birthdays and the Super Bowl. Uh, I actually had a better time at the Super Bowl than the birthday party. Only reason is because I didn't get as drunk. Because I had to work after both of those days. Oh, yeah, you had to work on Saturday, That's, which was terrible. And we partied fucking hard on Saturday. Yeah? Because there was a lot of liquor there. I mean, Friday. All right. Now, I actually made it into work on Saturday... No well water either. No well water. I came home to, yeah, my well pump fucked up. So I uh, came home, couldn't take a shower. Made it home probably like, what, three in the morning? That's about, yeah, something like that. So I had to be at work at eight. Uh, so I can't fucking take a shower. So I'm just like, okay, fuck it. I just go to sleep. I get fresh clothes on. I get up. I try to brush my teeth. And I'm like, fuck. No Hung over as hell. No water. I can't even wash my face. So I literally just gargled mouthwash. Yeah, and like it, neighbors or something, you should just been. I, it, just you know how late I wake up in the morning. Yeah, true. Yeah, I didn't have time to do shit, so I woke up and I just like rough gargled mouthwash <laughs> <laughs> to kind of like get it on my face a bit, and I spit it out and just kind of rubbed it on me that way. Hopefully, I didn't smell like alcohol. Poured me a cup of black coffee, ran out the door, made it to work. The I owner, you have coffee. Um, my dad went and bought uh, oh, some 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 fucking water. water. Yeah. So I made it to work, and the boss man's first words when I set my coffee cup down was, man, that's some strong-smelling coffee. And I'm like, huh? He said, you spiked that this morning, or did you stay out drinking all night? This is the owner of my company that I work for. And I was like, damn it, man. Caught again. (laughs) I had to explain to him, man, I'm here on time. I did go out for his birthday. I don't have any well water. I couldn't take a shower. I couldn't even brush my teeth. But at least you made it into work. <laughs> you gotta imagine how he many was, people coming to work drunk. Like, come, he, was not pretty, drunk, he was over. pretty chill. But, you know, I'm a delivery driver. He was like, just don't get pulled over. And I'm like, I'm fine. I'm fine. You know? But Saturday, I mean, uh, Sunday, Sunday when I came home, we didn't stay out quite as late. Didn't have a lot of liquor. So I was a little bit better off. No, the Super, we, the Super Bowl ended a lot quicker than I thought it was going to. I thought it went to, like, midnight. But th- it, yeah. it, it ended at, like, what, 10, 30, 11, something like that? Yeah, so. we just hung out till like, 1. Yeah. So... That was one of my fears. That's why I didn't really want to go. I was like, man, y'all going to hang out. And the Super Bowl ended like 12, and then we'll keep drinking because that's how drinking works. But no, it worked out. Mm-hmm. But I had water, and I could brush my teeth, and I felt and like a the, new man on Monday, and no one asked me if I went out drinking the night before. We had the, we had the worst freestyle session I think we've ever 
had in past memory. That's I don't think it was our fault. Was it us? I don't think it was us. Well, no, it was too many people. <laughs> it was too many people trying to do too many things at once. Because it was like me, you, Stephen, Kendrick, Wyatt, Wyatt and Cabe. Cabe. Cabe bounced in and out a few times. And it was like you couldn't get like two or three lines off without someone else just being like, that's not how that's not how this works. We tried to do a cipher at one point. We couldn't even go around in a complete. Yeah, we didn't even make it once around the whole thing before someone was like, "Bro, you should have said this." So you should, you know. But that's we tried to get that random dude we never met before to get in on it. Yeah, he was... That's the one that started it. He was like, I can freestyle. And I was like, you can freestyle drunkenly. I was apparently, like, Cuff, uh, come over here. Let's go. <laughs> and then he just left before we... <laughs> yeah, apparently he was messing with some window panes, if you're picking up what I'm putting down. Yeah. And so... That was the weirdest way... We... Google that at your next I've leisure. never heard that, I feel like, but I know what we're talking about. That's an old school title for it. No, oh, really? Yeah. yeah. But... Wild how he could be in that environment with, with that going on, so... He didn't seem like he was too fucked, That's but... what I... Yeah. yeah. Could have fooled me. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway. Good thing we're not cops. <laughs> yeah. Um, rest of the week. Pff, ah, fuck. You've, you've seen it. I've basically been to work and I live stream now. I try to put all my fucking free time. Bro, got, uh, your boy got Ghostface Killer now on Dead by Daylight. Yeah, I did. Thanks to uh, you, actually. Or Kim, actually. Well, yeah, you're the one that wanted to to get it. You was going to send the money, so. It, it, I'm going to give it to you, but. Yeah, let's take this moment to give a quick shout-out to uh, PayPal for making the simplest of transactions complicated and needlessly... Had a man from South Asia give me a dollar. (laughs) Yeah. And then you couldn't give me five dollars from five minutes down the street. PayPal is just way too many... There's too many fucking steps you gotta go. Why can't I just put my card number on there and say, hey, here's five bucks, without having to sign in a fucking blood contract, perform a ritual, summon Cthulhu, give him my security question, (laughs) then... Do the two step. What was your mother's main name? Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> it was it was a whole it was a whole lot. I don't I don't want to get too much into it, but basically I couldn't sign into my information through Twitch, so I went to PayPal's website, and it was even a, it was even more of a hassle there because I haven't used it in so long. They were like, "What's everything you have? What's all your shit? Give us all your information." I'm like, "Man, I ain't got time. For what the fuck? Who the fuck knows their routing number off the top of their head? Like, come on, dog. I had it written down in a drawer somewhere. Yeah." It's that drawer. I can't even get to that drawer. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of drawers that are kind of... We don't talk about that. All right. Um, but, yeah. Uh, been getting... A, I feel like I'm getting a lot of support through the stream stuff. Um, Boy, you got some good people you're networking with because they are all about it. Yeah. Uh, good old Monster. And then we dropped into Doc the other... Uh, was it last night? hmm So. Yeah, every single one of them. Uh, I just had them going up in the background just to support them, more or less. But every single one of them was like... As they were wrapping up their stream, they were like, let's go raid this guy. He just recently hit affiliate, so, you know, help him out a little bit. And then that guy would be like, these these people over here are trying to reach affiliate, so, you know, give them some follows, give them some views, lurk or whatever. And I was like, well, man, that's pretty cool. These people, you know, they know the struggle, I guess. So. Yeah, you got to pass around that love. Yeah. That's actually what I was doing before you got here. I just... And, then, on... <laughs> and then earlier today, I was watching my boy Ray from Achievement Hunter stream, and he's just like, every 30 seconds, like... Oh, a donation, sixty nine, sixty nine. Woo, woo, nice, yeah, woo. It's just like, all right, this is yeah. complete night and day from <laughs> yeah the the uh, small stream struggle. Right. Like I'm just um, more or less networking on Twitter a lot. Um, I did get picked up by that Discord. Uh, shout out to Brew Two Horde. Um, everybody on Twitter is super supportive. I'm trying to be a lot more active on there. So. I uh, started up just a little conversation today while I was at work. I was like, hey, you know, I'm always bored at work, so drop your stream name, drop your stuff, tell me what you're doing, trying to just interact. And before you got here, you showed up. Uh, I was just hopping into random people who liked my comment or commented their streams. And Have you won anything from that uh, Mr. Beast Twitter guy? Oh, no, but I, I did hop in there earlier today. He was doing Cini random. Seen he was giving away a $2,000 PC setup thing. Oh, or something. yeah. Like, What's his name, DNP? Yeah, I, don't know. I think it's something like that. I tried to hop in for that, um, I don't know, some Marvel giveaway, and then he did like a quick notification giveaway. He was like, hey, if you have me notified, you can one win. Of them was like, one of them was like, if you retweet this in the next 45 seconds, I'll give you $100 or something. Yeah, that's the notification I'm, thing. I'm like, what the fuck? Who the fuck? Whatever. Me. I don't know, I don't know how the shit, I don't know how well, this if shit you, works. If you put the bell on, you get notifications when they tweet it. No, so. I'm talking about him in, in oh. specifically. Oh, yeah. Like, what does he do? Just sit around all day, just like raking in like social media money and just be like all right now i got to get dole this back out and get my returns and 
Yeah, I don't understand how that works. It beats me, man. No. Yeah. But it'd be crazy to win that setup. It'd be crazy somebody, to win anything. Can't somebody like Jeff Bezos do that shit? Because like this post and I'll give you a billion dollars. Well, then he wouldn't be the richest man in the world. If he just gave out his money. Bro, he's the richest. I don't think he's got to worry about not being the richest <laughs> man in the world for a while. The dude has enough money to buy up like five countries if he wanted to. But that's neither here nor there. No. Uh, anyway, finish out my week. Dead by Daylight. Dead by Daylight. Been streaming shit out of it. Having a blast with it. You've uh, wanted me to get uh, Ghostface. Mm-hmm. Enjoyed the shit out of him. He's fun as fuck. Um, I'd love to try some other characters, but I gotta wait, you know. Who's next on your, uh, your list? I really like Leatherface. I want to buy Leatherface. He's, like, my favorite out of the whole roster, and I want to see how he plays. Well, do you know what his shtick is? No. Or... Just running in raw, boy. I, that seems like he, that's what he would be. Yeah. I'm guessing. I don't know. I haven't seen Leatherface play, but uh, it'd be cool, like, if his chainsaw thing could just, like, smash through those fucking pallets that the people lay down, you know what I'm talking I think about? He, I think he can. Oh, is that what he does? I think so. I think I've read something like that. One of the characters can. Just cut through the shit. Um, I actually just realized, like, last night that uh, alt is a button. I wonder if that's a button for any other characters. Alt? Alt. It, is that how you crouched? It is stuff? how I crouched. Yeah, remember when I found that out last night? Yeah. I was like, holy shit! Does that do anything? Uh, you're quieter for Ghostface. You're quieter and you have, like, a... It's... Give off trade of stalking. Stalking is super slow, but dead silent. Mm-hmm. And then crouch is a little faster. Just you can hear it, but otherwise you can just walk around undetected as long as that'll last. But who, who else do they have in that game? They got uh, they got the they demi, got, the demigorgon from Stranger Things. I think they, they have, have uh, Leatherface. They have Jason and Freddy, right? I don't think they have Jason. Really? Don't they have Freddy Krueger though? I think so. Yeah. That's um, weird. They don't have Jason. That seems like they have uh, Ash. From the Evil Dead, he's a survivor. Oh wow, really? Yeah. I was about to say yeah, Ashley right. Williams. I didn't even know he was in the game until like I was chasing him down one day. I was like, "What the fuck is that? <laughs> what, what is he doing up in here?" So yeah, that's crazy. Um, but yeah, you want to support me over there? Uh, catch me streaming pretty much all week. Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash Sir Snack. Appreciate the love from everybody. I'm getting love from currently. I guess that'll uh, wrap up the week and we can jump right into the news. I see you uh, Googling something. You Googling the characters? Yeah, I was just curious about what all uh, killers they had in there. Yeah. Some look cool. I really would like to unlock what's... I think she's called the Plague. Yeah, that seems like one of them. Yeah, they got got Freddy Krueger in there. She pukes everywhere. It looks cool. I got Michael Myers. Neat. I know the Michael Myers map. Where the fuck are these characters on my unlock roster? I'm, I don't know. Are they behind oh, yeah. DLC walls? I'm assuming so. Do I gotta download extra things in order for them to be available on the purchase screen? What the fuck does that even? Beats me. I don't see Leatherface on here though. Oh, never mind. There he is. He's called Bub- something else. Bubba Sawyer. Is that what he's called? Yeah. Uh. Cannibal. I got some crazy looking killers up in this game. Who this guy is? Sorry, I just got curious. <laughs> You're good. This. Who this guy is? <laughs> Uh, Alright, I'm going to hop right into the first little news tab we have. Did you see that comment I put last night where I was like, when did they go Ted Bundy as a kid? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what did I say? Oh, man, I don't even know if I should repeat that. Uh, so, no, I think the next uh, characters are going to be the Columbine kids. They look really cool. I think they'll be broken, though, because they got range. Fucking man. I don't know if that's against any terms and conditions, but... I think we'll be alright. Yeah, we're under the radar right now. Wait till we get partner or Let's mark mature anyway, so... Um... This is probably going to be just a little bit of news. I mean, it just happened. Uh, PS4 or PS5 got its website. And by website, I guess, it's literally just a web page on PlayStation's uh, website that states, Hey, PS5, coming soon. We don't have any news. It's just... In case you didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> but did. everyone freaked out when it happened. So uh, speculation is we'll probably get some PS5 news by the end of February. Maybe. I think we should. I think it's about time. If it's coming out later this year, if, you, you need to. It's it's definitely coming out fucking holiday. If the coronavirus doesn't kill us all. Yeah. Um, Fun fact. They have a vaccine for it now. Okay. Shout out to Modern Science. Really? Yeah, it's treatable now. Oh. So, whoever was playing Plague Inc. up there, I'm pointing up towards like some ethereal plane. It was a light bulb. Yeah. So, whoever's been playing Plague Inc. and started in China... Better luck next time. You gotta go from Madagascar or Greenland. Because those are the, they only have an airport and a port, so you gotta up your game. 
Try to seem like a good start. Um, I don't know. What more do we need to know about the PS5? Specs. I know, but we know what it's going to fucking be. Price point. Price point. Pricing is the main thing. It's what the controller looks like. They've it's already be the boomerang PS. No, they've already got a PS5 like thing floating around out there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good old DualShock Five, I guess. Neat. Yeah. Price point. I think sweet $700. spot. Seven hundred dollars. No, that's too high. That's, Six ninety nine. <laughs> that's how it would work in America. Yeah. <laughs> MSRP in America Six ninety nine. Fucking everywhere else. How much is PS Five? Uh, Seven hundred and thirty six dollars. I'm gonna predict five hundred. I think five hundred is a good sweet spot. Or I should say four ninety nine plus tax. Yeah, that sounds perfect. Uh, affordable to pretty much everybody. You know, as long as you they get their news out now and everybody can fucking save up. This has got to be a terrible time for parents. You know, fucking being a parent <laughs> like ten years from now and having a kid and just like, oh yeah, I'm gonna want that shit. And you're like, fuck, I'm gonna want that shit. I gotta buy two of them. I don't want a sticky fucking Captain Crunch kid. hands on my shit. You know. Boy, I felt uh, I felt kind of like a parent. The other day, I went to my uh, grandma on my mom's side birthday, and a couple of my cousins had their kids running around. They were like seven, eight, nine, that kind of age range, and every single one of them was just losing sh- their shit of her phones. And I was like, "My God, it's really, it really is this bad." Like, they, they just, they just can't do it. They just it. can't do it. Yeah. And they were just playing like the simplest of games, like just trace the dots or you know some other. <laughs> dumb shit, you know, like <laughs> just some dumb other shit, you know, like fucking. Uh, I know what you mean. Like yeah, they, like those spot the difference. Yeah, like. shit like that, and it was like half of the eShop's library. Yeah, you know, on a phone. It was like um, one of my cousins. She had a girl with her, and uh, her phone was dying. It was only like five percent or something, and she was like, "No, you can't play with it right now. I just, you know, we got to get started. Food's coming out and everything." And this kid straight up lost its shit for like the next thirty minutes. Like it was just. Uh, it's rough to watch, dog. So. Yeah, it'll probably get worse. Probably. Just take this and shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we went. Well, I feel like I was kind of that bad, but I didn't have it when I was young. Young. I mean, I remember getting a Game Boy Color. Uh, I actually I got an original Fat Boy. I don't know what else you would call them. They're the big ones. But you know, I was young, and it just happened. It was fine. Batteries died. I always kept backup batteries, but I was always. ADD, but as long as I had my shit, no one can fuck with me. I always kept my shit on backup, bro. Batteries not? Oh, I'm good. Pop them in. We'll but like, now we got phones, rechargeable, and you need them for daily life. It's not like it's a dedicated device. Yeah. So you're a parent. You're like, I need this to actually communicate with the outside world. If we drive home and I break down, I gotta. there's no fucking pay phones. I don't know what to do anymore. So no, you can't fucking play this. Let right. me have my 5% battery life till we get home. You know? So... I don't know. It's just a different time. I don't know. It seemed different back when we were kids because, like, even though we did have, like, Game Boys and stuff, which, you know, I, I had a Game Boy, it just didn't seem as... I wouldn't... I never remember fucking throwing temper tantrums for not being able to play my Game Boy or whatever. I just had it in my pocket. You know? Yeah. But now it's like... But it's your dedicated device. It's not like, I gotta play with Mama's phone. Yeah, exactly. Like, there was one kid running around with the phone and, like, Straight up looking up YouTube videos and Twitter and shit, and I'm like, damn, like, <laughs> where is your childhood? Yeah, starting early. Just, just like, following and diving into social media at the ripe old age of six. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. uh, let's see, what else we got on the fucking roster? What do you want to talk about? Pick- Wonderful 101. Okay. Wonderful 101 got its, uh, doing a, is doing a Kickstarter thing for uh, bringing it to modern consoles. There yeah. we go. It was a hard sentence to say for some reason. I feel like you just wasn't prepared. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, I forgot. Platinum Games. There we go. Yeah. Platinum Games launched a Kickstarter, I guess, about two or three days ago. It hasn't been that long. Um, basically just instructing fans, if you want a port, where you're going to have to ask, them, ask for help. Uh, they don't have a publisher that will help port it, so they're going to self-publish the game with Kickstarter funds. And immediately knocked it out of the fucking water. Uh, met their Switch port goal, their Steam port goal, and their PS4 goal. Um, so, as well as like a, a DLC bonus thing or something it looked like. Yeah, I think they were asking for 50 grand. A little under. It was like 49, wasn't it? Yeah. And uh, when we just looked at it, it was at like $1.2 million. Yep. So, and it uh, rolled up $100 while we looked at it. <laughs> yeah. And sure we were just reading did. it. Yeah. 
Uh, I played the demo, uh, so I'm not too like certified to talk about the game. I didn't understand what was happening. I was one of the twenty thousand people to buy a Wii U, mm-hmm. so oh, yeah, I, I, I at I least didn't. I at least played the demo. <laughs> I didn't play it either, but I do know it's a lot of hype behind it because it's platinum games. Yeah, it's very, you know you know what they do, it's crazy like, over the top. It's like uh, the Japanese Michael Bay, kind of. Yeah. yeah, that's a good way to put it. Yeah, but uh, you said. They were originally, they went to Nintendo or something for this? To Yeah, apparently they uh, knocked on Nintendo's door and asked them if they would do it. And Nintendo, like they do, for pretty much fucking everything Platinum Games asked them for, wanted exclusivity for the game. And they did not want that, so that's why they went with the, with the Kickstarter uh, self-publishing thing. Because uh, uh, Platinum Games wanted to do a sequel to Bayonetta, and the only person that picked it up was Nintendo. And their big thing was like, hey... Yeah, gotta, be, gotta be a scoot. Yeah. I, it might have been ported to other things by now, but... I don't think so. Really? At least not that I'm aware of. And I think they're still working on Bayonetta 3 somewhere in the back. Neat. But this brought up a good point. Um, Actually, who did I read this off of? I don't want to just say... I think it was Arlo on Twitter. He's a YouTuber I follow. Um, it amazes me as well how the fuck these developers have all these games just sitting in the backlog and it doesn't matter how hyped people are for it big companies like nintendo won't budge you know like knowing what will happen like they just made a hundred and i mean one million dollars in like a couple of fucking days because people want this fucking game right nintendo was like nah nah i don't want nah and then they're like okay well if you're not gonna do it for exclusive rights we're gonna go do this on our own so, look at, like, uh, Beautiful Joe. Someone brought that fucking up in a comment. And I'm like, fuck yeah. Why hasn't Capcom said any shit about that? Capcom's been revising a lot of its old stuff. Uh-huh. And there's even works for a Dino Crisis remaster soon. Bro, so be hype. Why not fucking Beautiful Joe? You know how I many people would lose their fucking shit for a Beautiful Joe 1 and 2? Was there a 3? I don't think so. I think it was just 1 and 2. I only played the first one, though. There was one on the DS. I didn't like it. Oh, right, there you go. Yeah. We'll start going downhill when you right. start making mobile ports. I just my, my my mind flooded with Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, I wanted yeah. to keep talking. I was like, Kingdom Hearts just lived on through chain of memories, birth by sleep, three hundred sixty five over four rations of <laughs> I don't know <laughs> square root of. We always make that joke. See there, that is. Is that what was annoying you guys the other night? That yeah. fucking Discord boot. Yeah. Good old Discord boop. It is very loud on uh, Twitch. Is it loud on Twitch? Yeah. Oh, because it's recording just straight desktop audio. Yeah, it was rough. So it's not coming through like a little notification. It's just overtaking. I thought it was the, I thought it was the Twitch chat at first, and then a few times it like lined up with when a comment or something would pop up, and I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool or whatever. <laughs> but then like, that no. one dude was like, bro, that Discord's driving me crazy though, and I'm like, is that what that was? Yeah. But like I said, it has a streamer option, but I'm not even going to, I'm not going to pull it up, but... It should detect when I open OBS and stuff like that, which is the capture software, and it should mute everything. It should go into streamer mode. But it did not. Probably because I leave my computer in sleep mode and it stays on. So it probably needs to, you know what I mean? I'm not closing any of the applications. Discord stays on, OBS. Have, why do you have it up right now? Because I just leave everything in sleep mode and the computer doesn't give a shit. It just runs. Okay. Eh, I don't know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Um, so yeah, wonderful one on one. If you're if you're a big fan, I'm sure there's a lot of people. Obviously, because 1.2 million dollars in a couple of days just to it's nothing to scoff at. Yeah, just to bring back an old uh, Wii U port. Funny, funny enough. Um, last week we talked a bit about Warcraft Three. Uh-huh. I brought it up because a lot of my uh, streamer community was playing it. Who who developed this? Um, I brought it up because a lot of my streamer community. <laughs> The game. Was playing, uh, was playing it, and uh, they seem to be having a good time. I'm don't uh, claim to be a big Warcraft fan. Don't know a lot of the war, uh, lore, war, um, but apparently there's some issues. Oh no! And uh, cuff, uh, it's just slipping my mind. Uh huh. Who 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 made World of Warcraft? Oh, that'd be that'd be Blizzard. Oh, my man. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah, before World of Warcraft, they made the Warcraft series. Funny. Yeah. Happened. So, um... Things aren't going over well. Um, yeah, in, apparently... In the land of Blizzard games. <laughs> yeah. Apparently the port Damn is perfor- performing, I can't talk, uh, performing poorly from some people just not being able to run the game, um, all the way up to just game crashing, all the way to this, the game 
running poorly. So not being able to play, not being able to launch, playing terribly when playing. All bad things. So if that, that wasn't so bad that enough... Chi- so much for that Chinese money going towards Blizzard's stuff. Apparently people trying to get refunds um, are being, I guess, refunded automatically through an automated service. But upon refunds are getting banned from, uh, I guess, the Blizzard launcher. Uh-huh. Yeah. So your uh, Battle.net, I believe is what it's called. Yeah. Is getting banned. Some guy said he got banned for two weeks for refunding the game. Some people couldn't refund the game because it wouldn't launch, and I guess it ran in the background and said that it had been running. He played it too long to get a refund. But he said the game never actually properly launched, and he was never actually able to play. But I guess a play counter started and locked him out of his refund. Damn shame. It's Boycott Blizzard, version 2. Let's go. So now everybody's up in arms and ready to go at Blizzard again, I guess. (laughs) Again. (laughs) Three months later. Let's do it. (laughs) Yeah, but this time, I don't know. This this seems worse. This is worse. I than think supporting I, China, who cease and desist people's well, rights and liberties. And well, stuff. let's look at it this way: these the, these people, first and foremost, are a game company. No, so they're first and foremost, they're a company. Yeah. So okay. Yeah, yeah. They they want money, so they should never really dabble in politics. I don't know why they they should have did that a different way. Obviously, we're not going to get back into that. But politics shouldn't be their main thing or by no means but this is a game that they released fucking 17 years ago I think it was 2002 when this came out and now they've just remastered it and it doesn't fucking run this is a fucking game that's broken (laughs) and they're banning people for getting refunds and not allowing refunds and this is a fucking dictator dictatorship they're taking they're taking uh, Chinese ideals and applying them to their company yeah Yeah, pretty much (laughs) So I think this is just a little worse on the face of a company. Here's the thing. Well, I don't like this thing. Can I have my money back? No. No. And on top of that, you're banned. <laughs> Why? Because. Because no one in the fucking house actually looked at it. Just an automated system was like, he got his money back for that game? No. No, we did not. Banned. Not under my watch. So, uh, I hope that didn't happen to any of my uh, Discord friends, you know. I've seen them playing it pretty heavily uh, when it first came out. I haven't seen them on since. Maybe you got banned. Maybe it didn't run well. Maybe he didn't like it. All of the above. Nostalgia glasses. Yeah, it's a real thing. Yeah. Yep. Uh, anyway, let's uh, move on to the. This one's this one's kind of weird, but I seen it uh, today actually. Nvidia is launching a cloud gaming service. Nvidia is the people that make fucking computer Graphic, shit. Graphics cards. Yeah, I guess they they gotta make something else, right? They don't. Is that all they do? Is just. Just GPUs, I Maybe guess. Sound cards too, maybe. I don't know. Does anybody even use? Sound I cards was about to say. Does anyone use sound cards anymore? Audio files do, I guess. Right. Uh, maybe. People that want another place to plug in wires in the back of their computers. What's a sound card even supposed to do? It's the same thing a graphics card would do. It's a dedicated thing for sound. Well, how come people don't flip shit about sound? <laughs> they, <laughs> I don't know. Nah. I don't fucking know. Is that the next thing on your list? <laughs> Get a sound card? Yeah. No, I think I'm okay. I'm, sure? I'm, I'm pretty happy with my my turtle beaches and a Bluetooth little dongle over there. Nice. That's fine by me. Um, he dongles. You dangle with me, bro? You dangle with me? You dongling with me? <laughs> um, apparently, I, I, I want to stop saying um, but it's the perfect pause and filler word. Good luck convincing your brain to do that, yeah. buddy. I was about take, to, I was about to do it right speaking? there. Huh? Do you ever take public speaking? No. Yeah. I forget what they call it. It's like a verb filler or something. Some shit like that. Is it? Is it because my brain doesn't like stale air or something? Is it just me trying to put something... No, I think it's just like a fucking instinctual thing, dude. Like, everybody's brain does it. You know? Just like, you know. Yeah, I'm trying that's to like, not do like it a, right now. Like a, I'm thinking of, like, a podcast I like. And, uh... I used to know Greg Miller's shit. He used to say it all the time. You know what I'm talking about? I think it was that... He's like, yeah, just one day, one day, Colin just flipped on him and was like, yes, Greg, I know what you're talking about. Because, like, every fucking two seconds in the conversation, he's just like, I'm going to explain this. You know what I'm talking about? You know, and then, like, halfway, you know what I'm talking about? Fucking yes. But his filler word was, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's, um, there it is again. It just, couldn't, <laughs> couldn't stop it. It just happened it just without de- me thinking. It just depends on your accent stuff, yeah. Um, like, you know, no, God, I'm, talking, no I'm I feel like about. um's better than like. Yeah, I don't, I don't like Like, um, ah. Uh, anyway. NVIDIA launching a cloud-based gaming service, but with a bit of a twist. Um, what? 
Um, ah, shit. <laughs> now it's going to be. Yeah, now it's one of those things. Just <laughs> We're gonna breathe manually. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> this whole thing got harder. Uh, ah! <laughs> There's its cousin. Uh. <laughs> NVIDIA is launching a cloud gaming service. Apparently it's $5 a month to start out, apparently. Uh... Connect your. But that's the twist I was going to talk about. Okay, yeah, you. I don't. Yeah. I'm, I'm uh, you can about. connect your Steam, Epic, and or Battle.net accounts to play your your games that you've already. You don't have to rebuy shit for their platform. Oh, that's pretty neat. Yeah. So instead of like Google Stadia, you can just import all your game launcher fucking games on it. Well, damn, Nvidia just snapped the Stadia's neck. It kind of seems like it, because everybody owns a fucking NVIDIA GPU, right? I mean, unless you're an A&D fanboy, and I think they even have their own version of it working on it or something like that. So you can just buy, like, what, some game on the Epic Store and then play it on something else? Yes. Or... I, th- I think I should be able to do it. You see this NVIDIA update pending right here? Yeah, this is probably something to do with that. So. I would assume so. Yeah. Hey, somebody on Discord was just talking about it. Uh, no, that was uh, Facebook, I believe. No. Just all the th- all the noises, all the chimes. Very <laughs> professional. I forgot to close it. Uh, we're known for our professionalism here. Yeah, man. That's uh, tangent time. Exactly. Mighty <laughs> Morphin tangent time. I know. Where's Brandon been at? He hopped into the stream yesterday, or day before. Hung out. Seemed like uh, Dead by Daylight, he just confused the shit out of him. He was like, what the fuck game is this? This is brutal. <laughs> I'm like, it's brutal and cheesy. Them screams still just make me laugh. You know it's got I mean? a good, uh, it's got good sound effects. Every time you put somebody up on a hook, and then like a cheesy sound bit of like, <laughs> it's like why? Why couldn't they make that better? I don't know what I think of this. I mean, I don't think anybody. This is not going to be a revolutionary thing. The Nvidia cloud service. I don't think it's going to really go anywhere. It's going to be an optional thing for people that want it. I think it's a good thing that they haven't really touted it. Not like they're coming, like, full swinging force. dick out, yeah, fucking... Yeah, like Google did. Yeah, not yeah. coming after Google with it. But I think that is something, especially starting out $5 a month and being able to play games that you've already purchased, that's uh, that's pretty good. So, we'll see what that, uh, what that develops into. The $5 a month thing seems really cheap, but like I said, it is to, to start out, so God knows what it'll end up being. And I guess you'll be able to uh, purchase games through the service as well, so... Doesn't seem too bad to me. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't affect me. I don't have I don't game on PC or whatever the fuck, but it's a pretty cool idea. Yeah. It seems like the right way to go about it, honestly, to me, as opposed to the, hey, all those games that you own, buy them again and do it that way. <laughs> with, with more lag. Lots more lag. Yeah, lots more lag and a subscription-based model thing or whatever the fuck. Yeah, and apparently games get removed from that service. Let's talk about City for a second because there's actually some new news that uh, came out either today or yesterday. New uh, news. Newish news, um, not from Stadia themselves, which makes this funny. Um, there's that word. A guy on Reddit posted like a big fucking thing. He's like, "Look, it's been uh, 69 days. Nice, I think. Nice, that, yeah. Since uh, Stadia's launch or some shit like this, and renewals coming up. Uh, no, it's been 69 days since we've heard from uh, like any news about Stadia. So what, what, from when it first launched? Uh, no, from like like. N- New games, new anything. Ah, okay. So it's just been like blackout silence from the the studio. They killed it. Like Google Glass. Done. So everyone, he, he posed like a lot of nice little bullet points and questions. He's like, so with renewal coming up, you know, because I guess they paid like a yearly founder's fee or whatever right, originally. Right. He's like, what the fuck are we paying for? Mm. You've given us lackluster games. It's been like uh, blackout from you guys. You haven't said anything to us. Um, what the fuck is going on? Did they, did they get back to him? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's oh. like the first thing that uh, the Stadia developers have said since whenever they you know they had the date. I think it was 69 days. Some shit like that. But they were like, we're well aware of this, but I have no news to share at the time. Oh, so they're killing it then. They're... But then I think it, today they uh, they posted a poster. And that was it. It was like, two new games coming to Stadia. Boy, oh, that's going to save it. That's going to save it. God, so, I would have hate to have been like a Stadia diehard fanboy. You know what I mean? I mean? Who was really? I mean, that's what I'm saying though. Like to the people out there who were like, "This is revolutionary. This is going to be the thing." This is. It's like they just they, they put all their money on black at the fucking <laughs> roulette wheel, and was like, "This is going to change the industry." And it's like, I think the name Google 
just really just kind of it sounds good yeah, yeah if, sounds you official tell me, sounds big sounds you like, told me 10 years ago google's gonna have a gaming service i'd be like well i guess uh, yeah see you later future man I'm yeah gonna, i'm gonna go back to reality uh, no well, i would have been like pretty hyped for it you know like, fucking trunks coming back to tell goku you know well that's gonna fucking happen that's gonna, gonna be, be androids and they're gonna be crazy train like, your ass off fuck i gotta i gotta get ready for stadia i guess and like ten, and then here we are and like ugh. Yeah, then you hop in the hyperbolic time chamber and <laughs> play all play all the games you used to love. Be like, sorry guys, once Google Stadia comes out, I'm never touching you again. I gotta I gotta stay in here as long as I can. And you come out to a dystopian future. <laughs> Fucking world is leveled. What happened? <laughs> Stadia flopped, man. Uh, they were bought out by Yahoo. I thought Yahoo was I thought they tried by the Yahoo. Certain. It was the search tool wars. Yahoo teamed up with Google, but Ask Jeeves was planning for this from the time. <laughs> since, I don't know. What happened to Bing? What are you talking about? <laughs> no one knows who Bing they're is. Up, they're, they're up in space somewhere. <laughs> oh, that was some nerdy ass shit. It was funny. I thought it was funny. Um, God damn, I hate that I brought up that I say that word. <laughs> yeah. It's going to bother you now, huh? Yeah. So, yeah, that was the that was the news for the most part. You got any news? Streamer beat a Ocarina of Time. Oh shit! Yeah, I put that in last minute because I literally just seen it like a minute ago. Uh, a streamer did beat Ocarina of Time in less than ten fucking minutes. Impressive. Uh, they found some new, you know, you know how new tech. speed. Yeah, speedrunners are tech. always doing something fucking crazy, dude. Yeah. Uh, so they found. Have you heard about the R wing thing in Ocarina of Time? No. Apparently, there is a R wing here you know, from Star Fox. That's what that's what threw me for a loop. I was like, hey, yeah. what? Uh, there's apparently an R-Wing programmed into Ocarina of Time. Why? Uh, there's a boss. It's a flying boss. Oh. And they used that flying model of your R-Wing. And just slap textures over it? Yeah. And basically it, it follows the flying patterns of... I'm doing some hand motions. You're, yeah, making, yeah, eye, you're making eye contact <laughs> with my hand. I'm like, man. <laughs> but, uh... So that's why there's an R-Wing in there. And apparently this had something to do with that. If I'm not mistaken, but yeah, he he basically skips the entire game from Kakariko Village without even beating the Great uh, Deku Tree. Nice. Does some hoppy flippy skippies, uh, jumps over the water, buys a shield, Ooh. stares at a wall, throws a rock, backs up five times, pauses the game, switches to the shield, uh, flips four hundred more times, stares at a wall, uh, pans around outside the map, loses control of the character, the character flies around, pans back to the character, he walks into a door. Time. Sounds about right. Time. Yeah, and he didn't even know he did it. He didn't even know he beat a world record. So, uh, nine minutes and fifty six seconds is pretty damn good. Uh, yeah. No, I just have like base knowledge of the Ocarina of Time speed runs. I've tried one one time. Uh, I've it's tried a, a it's strat. A, it's a lot to one. I tried to skip. I guess I didn't try a whole speed run. Right. They. I mean, they're fun. They're fun to watch, but I mean, they trying every, to every, do them is a nightmare. I've never tried to do them, but like. When I first got into like watching speedrunning and everything, like I, that and Super Mario sixty four was like the go tos because like everybody fucking runs those. Yeah. And um, so yeah, I got to see a few of the, the tricks they do, like the bomb sliding stuff, or like lock onto this thing and then do a backflip and then a side flip to glitch out of the wall and stuff like that. Or you can it's skip like, that Milo guy or whatever his name is. Yeah, there's just all kinds all kinds of shit. It's cool to watch that, like you know, the first time, first couple of times, whatever. But after you've seen it, like five, ten times, you're like, okay, yeah, it's... It's still, still impressive, I mean, but, you still, know, it loses, yeah, it yeah, loses it's still its impressive, cool. but it loses kind of, like, the flair thing a little bit. Like, when people lose their shit over Super Mario 64 runs, which, I mean, I get it, that's, like, a super goddamn fucking technical game, like, doing a backflip cartwheel dive thing off the wall to bounce off the bob bomb thing to get the star that you're not supposed to get to until whatever, it's like, wow, that's really cool. After you watch it 20 times, you're like... I mean, yeah, it's cool. They've been doing like, that speed run since 2006. Yeah. Like, <laughs> ever since YouTube was a thing. Apparently there's a lot of uh, cheating in speed running too, by the way. If you ever want to research into that, that's a pretty cool thing to to watch. You have like some people that, uh, they do splits where it's oh, like... Oh, they clip a thing to a thing? Yeah, they'll take they'll take their best segments and then like in the film edit... I heard that was like an early thing in the speed running game. Yeah, well, that's, 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 that's where it's a thing now. That's where, um, at first they got, I mean, they got away with it at first. Because, you know, just, the technology wasn't there to, like, go back and check them and stuff like that. But, like, I guess it's has become more popular and stuff now. There's, like, a lot of people who have come under review and been, like, 
wait a minute, dog, this audio file don't match up with the frame data that's it's supposed to, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah, shit like that. Wild. Yep. It's fucking wild. Because there was this, uh, this guy I watched on YouTube, and uh, the, the James Bond game on... Fucking, Goldeneye. Yeah, Goldeneye on the N64. That gets speedrun a lot, too. That's a pretty hype game for speedrunners. And I watched him do kind of like a little mini video documentary thing on like the history of speedrunning with that game. And apparently there's a level in that game where um, you're on a ship and you have to rescue hostages and blow up something or other like that. And if done correctly, like... It's the a be- second mission. Yeah, if done correctly, like the best time you can get is like a minute and a second or like a minute and two seconds or something like that. And But the world record for the longest time was like a solid minute. And like, I guess, you know, the super diehard uh, speedrunner people were like, how the fuck is he doing this? You know, like... At best RNG, best scenario, best speed, we can only get a minute and one second. And so, like, sure enough, they went back, and ran a, ran his ran a screenshot. It's because uh, like after every mission, it shows you like the results of the thing. And sure enough, found out he just altered the the thing. He took a screenshot of the the thing, and literally like photoshopped one zero, and just covered up the one, so it just looked like a solid minute. You know what I mean? That's like the. The, the cheapest way to skip a foot. Yeah, and they matched, he matched the fade up to, like, how it would fade in-game and everything. And so, like, since then, whenever somebody speedruns, uh, like, any kind of James Bond thing, after they beat a level and it shows, like, the mission results, they'll move their cursor around the screen so you're, like, so you know, like, there's no... It's not just, like, a still image or something. Uh-huh. It's, it's crazy, the, the links that people go to to, like, like speedrun detectives or something like that. The internet has just a million fucking, just little hobbies that you never yeah, think man. are hobbies that I never thought fucking video games would be as popular as they are today. Yeah, you can't, you can't. Growing nothing, up in nothing. the South, man, this was all trash. <laughs> then once everything started popping off, late 90s, early 2000s, I was like, all right, mom yeah, and dad. Right, man, there's something to this. All right, mom and dad. <laughs> and like, look, at it, look at it nowadays. Now it's full-time jobs plenty of companies or plenty of like game companies have like charity streams charity events AGDQ donates most of their money towards oh, you know, most can, now yeah most of their money towards like cancer cancer foundations like research and stuff like that so yeah uh, I was gonna say the only thing I tried in Legend of Zelda <laughs> I was taking it back a minute um, there's a well hop do you know the well hop Probably there's there's it. a well that you can only get to with the boots. You got to get to the bottom of it, and it teleports you out of uh, the Lost Woods. Mm-hmm. But apparently, if you do like a little tree smack on a fucking little edge where polygons meet, you smack it, backflip, backflip, and then in mid air, you drop your sword drop. Mm-hmm. You'll glitch and fall all the way down the well without the water pushing you back up. I tried for hours. <laughs> yeah, to get that down. Yeah, and then I looked it up, and it was like this was patched out of the Wii U version, and I'm like, I fucking what the that, yeah, fuck? That, that's another thing too. Like, uh, it depends on what version. You yeah, play. yeah. Most that's of this... why everyone plays OG uh, Japanese cartridges for yep, most games yep. because just raw. They get the they get fight. the first game before it gets all the the PAL regions and the patches and the extra content. Yeah, that's another one that uh, got was pretty big for cheating because like there was this one guy who had a record on uh, Ocarina of Time or something, and. He had the video uploaded and everything for it, and people went back and checked it out, and it's like, you know the little, uh, the yellow arrow D-pad things? Mm-hmm. You could hotkey items to it? Yeah. Well, apparently he he did the same thing, where he took two video uh, footages, put them together, and like was so just... So we got editors stepping on our turf. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and was like, just hoping nobody would notice it. But sure enough, like, they analyzed the thing, and it was like, in the first video, he had this item, this item, and this item mapped to the, the yellow things. And then he like went through like a doorway or something in the transition, and but he had three different items mapped to the other ah. things, and was like, you know, in cutscenes and transitions and stuff like that, you know, your items are supposed to stay the same. So they called him on that, called him out, and a lot of times they pull the old bullshit where it's like, well, back then my video recording thing wasn't working right, oh, oh, frap, yeah. my fraps was giving me shit, so, you know, I just uploaded the best of of what I had, and then they get banned and they raise hell and stuff, and it's like, well, I like the guys just don't fucking cheat. You know, like, I like the guys that get caught uh, cheating because of controller inputs. You know, you see they have like the controller uh, inputs on the corner of the stream or whatever. Oh yeah, like they have but it up. Some of them will have a, a, a camera on their hands. Yeah, yeah. It's like, why would you have those things like that if you're gonna cheat? 
I don't know. Do you think do you think your uh, your mind and your eyes can match your fucking hands that fast? You know. So I'm gonna pretend to play this game perfect. I mean, that would be even more impressive if you just had a fucking speed run played out and you were able to match the controls a hundred percent perfectly. Yeah, that's, to look that's, like to look like the speed run. That seems but like, at that point, why, the why fuck not? Yeah, why not just <laughs> play the game? Why not just fucking speed run it? One of the best ones was. Uh, Sorry to get on this whole tangent, but it's a pretty cool video. You should check it out sometime. I forget the name of it, but just Google or like search up like cheating and speed running on YouTube, and you can probably find it. But uh, one of the best ones was like uh, in GTA Vice City. They do a speed run of that of just like either clearing just the story mode or clearing all the missions or whatever. And a a vehicle they use a lot is the uh, crotch rocket thing in that game because you know like best acceleration, best speed for whatever getting from point A to point B, and. Uh, same thing like this guy had a record for like the longest time and somebody reviewed the video and was like wait a minute something right here and it was doing this thing where uh every time he would take off with the bike it would leave like a dust trail on oh the, on yeah, the, yeah on the back uh window or the window the back wheel where it was spinning and some guy i guess some eagle-eyed showering gun person was like what the fuck is that dust about what's going on with that dust it's like he had went into the game and changed the speed values on the motorcycle to, like, accelerate faster than it normally would. Yeah. And so, like, sure enough, the dude who called him out on it went and made a video of, like, his bike compared to, like, how it's actually supposed to be. Threw it up and was like, this dude's cheating. He's messing with something. I was like, god damn, people are like, yeah. nothing. So basically the, the bike was just going from not... It, there was no acceleration. It was just going top yeah, speed. Yeah, it started so it immediately. Just had the the uh, like exhaust, the, like the yeah, like the rubber burning effect thing going on or something. Yeah, that's crazy as fuck, dude. Can't get anything past the internet, dog. Yeah. Well, somebody out there is. There's either too gonna... many. There's too many eyes on it. Oh yeah, that's that's exactly it. Somebody out there is gonna know just the right thing to look for to like call you out on your bullshit. So, and rightfully so. Yeah. This shit's hard. You shouldn't fucking cheat to do that. I don't fuck with Reddit much, but uh, there is a good Reddit thread, I believe. What do you call it? Board? Uh, yeah, I, I subreddit? Don't... Subreddit. There you go. That's that's the word. That's how much <laughs> I fuck with Reddit. I don't see how you don't fuck with Reddit. Reddit's where Reddit a lot pisses, of shit Reddit, goes, though. Reddit pisses me off. I don't that's like That's where, it. like, mostly devs and shit goes to ask yeah, questions. Yeah, I know. I know. That's cool and everything. I'm not... Speaking of which, I got followed by an indie game dev on Twitter. Oh, nice, I should I should have remembered their name for this. But it made me excited... You know, I don't know. Visions of like, hey, I see you're a gamer and you stream. Would you like? To, I don't know. I envision something like that. Would you like a test you build? To, yeah, you test the game. Would you like a test build? Like, Fuck yes, I would. Absolutely. That'd God be, damn it. That'd be hype. That would be. But the uh, the Reddit thing I was talking about was like, there's an entire subreddit called "Quit Your Bullshit," where it's just it's just shit like that constantly. Where it's like somebody posts a thing or they do a video of a thing and they're like. They screen cap it or whatever, and they're like, this is fucking fake, this is not real, this is, you know, just shit like that. I love it. I love it. It's... Just come to the Reddits, man. Nah, I'm a 4chan guy. That's that's a big extreme. That's a big difference. Well, that's what I mean. Well, when I think 4chan, I know there's safe parts of 4chan. Yeah. <laughs> when I, mean... I say safe, I mean, eh, but, I wince a bit when I say it. But in terms of, like, um, I don't know, stereotype doesn't seem like the right word, but for the most part, the users on 4chan are not as like to be fooled by stupid shit yeah. than people on Reddit or like Tumblr or something where they're like some person who's just behind a keyboard types out like some story or emotional thing or whatever and people are just like, that's crazy that that happened. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. 4chan like... 4chan's like, pics or it didn't happen, timestamps, give me the shit. I need source facts, everything. For, from what I've seen, you know, it's I don't know how, if it's 100% or not, but like shit on Reddit where they're like they just post stories or stuff like you know just things that have happened like oh my husband left me at this time I had to raise kids but it's hard and I did it it's like bitch I don't believe a goddamn word you saying I need facts you, you should send me ledgers send me divorce papers fuck your feelings I'm a fact that's why they do green tech stories on 4chan cause you know can't prove it yeah but it's just implied right. you know what I'm saying I enjoy a good green tech story me too let's not get into that um <laughs> Let's move on down to uh, what we care about. That does it for the news. Um, what we care about. So we talk about the games that are coming out this week. Uh, not all the games. Just kind of what we care about. I skimmed through. Found uh, what I felt like was the biggest, most appealing things coming out this week. Um, 
let's start with I guess fuck it we'll just go down the list Dark Crystal Age of Resistance Tactics well I figured I don't know why I assumed you was a Dark Crystal fan so I figured this would make a, a big thing on the list but uh, when you got here I was like hey you like Dark Crystal and you're like nah I mean it's, it's okay <laughs> I'm like well fuck okay <laughs> well, there goes that yeah so there that went but um we did dive into it and looked at it um it's basically like a Final Fantasy Tactics game. Mm-hmm. It really it kind of breathes the, the tactics look. Uh, we accidentally clicked review. I don't like watching reviews, especially before I talk about it like this, because it gives me like a negative... Depending on what the review is, of course it gives you their opinion and you kind of think, because I don't know the game, but someone else is... I don't... Yeah. yeah I don't want to have someone else's opinion in my head when I'm trying to explain yeah, the game this that's, week. That's in your brain now. Yeah. So, yeah. But... Uh, you know, the review we watched, they didn't quite like it that much. But I thought for people that actually enjoy uh, tactics, this looked good. I mean, uh, if you like the Dark Crystal stuff in general. I feel like I you'll mean, probably buy it because yeah, those are yeah. like some diehard yeah, fans. Yeah, ex- ex- exactly. Because there's not a lot of Dark uh, Crystal like medias out there. There's like the original movie, there's some comic books, and now Netflix really pushing this. Uh, I think it's a prequel to the movie, the the Netflix stuff. I have no idea. Yeah. That's why. I thought it was Dark Labyrinth when it came out. And that's that's why I was hype about it. But I, then I remembered there was the Dark Crystal thing. I was like, eh. Never watched it. Didn't really know that what That movie's uh, art back in the day scared the shit out of me. Dark Labyrinth? Uh, Dark Crystal? I didn't watch it. <laughs> it, it just the, the, their weird, creepy puppets. I think that's what it was meant, supposed to do. Yeah, so. it was not. Nope, not for me as a kid. Still sticks in my head a little bit. Them bird things. We've seen them in the, the gameplay video. Yeah. Did you did you play tactics at all? Uh, a few times. War of only the Lions. A few times only at Jesse's house. Really? Yeah. Oh, on the Vita? No. Um, oh. I think it was like the PS2 or something. But was it, did you get a PS2 release? I thought well, it was. A it PS- was Final Fantasy Tactics, something like that. Yeah. I thought that was a PS1. It might have been on the PS1. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I know uh, Jesse bought a Vita, and uh, I remember him playing that a lot on his little Vita when he was carrying it around. When Jesse came over and hang out every now and then, you know, shout out to Jesse, miss you, buddy. You know, I don't leave the house, so Let's put him on a podcast. We can get him over here. Yeah. Did he can. move? Yes. Yeah. Because I seen that house came up. He's over there. over at uh, I don't want to give out addresses because he yell at me every time I do that. Well, I mean, <laughs> we're putting a lot of names and public information out on the internet. So, um, off of the highway, funeral home. Yep. Park. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? Trailer? Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> so closer to us, essentially? Oh, yeah. Actually, that's a little bit closer to us. Well, probably closer to you, yeah. Yeah, from well, me for sure. Yeah. That's you know, funny. Because my, yeah, ex- my exact address is... No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> No, I only found that out because uh, I've seen that house come up for rent, and I look for houses. So. I was going to say, why the fuck were you driving down... Goddamn, I almost dropped the name of the road. <laughs> Why were you driving down that road? <laughs> no, well, I used to. I used to have to go to work that way. But no. Yeah. Why Why would you go that way? Oh, uh, when I worked for that construction company, we carpooled. And I, oh, you met up at somebody? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bossman lived down that road. Bro, that, got, that road got fucked up when we had that uh, hurricane thing. Did it? Was it uh, two years ago? That Why big. two years ago? It was last year. Was it last year? Yeah, when it rained for like a week straight. Yeah, when it rained for like a week straight and like <laughs> Madison made it and lost all their fucking power. Yeah, that was last year. Yeah, Jesse's road was rough, dog. I don't remember why. I think I picked him up to go do a D and D thing or something. And like, oh, that fucking second driveway he had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one where it looms around, like yeah. it's like mud here, but then you make it here is like rocks, and then this. No, I'm, thing. Talk, I'm talking about. I'm not talking about a driveway. I'm talking about his road road. Because well. like, I remember I picked him up. I think we were heading to Jake's house for something, D and D or whatever. And there was like straight up trees in the road, oh, yeah. and like a, I think a power po- a power pole was like it had snapped, but it was still hanging by the uh, mm. the power line, so it was just like suspended in midair, you know, but like really low. It was like geez. oh shit, that was right at the intersection, right before you get to the highway. That was right at my boss man's house. Yeah, there you, yeah, there you that go. road that goes back into the like the pines. Yeah, because uh, he had to deal with that. The power line thing. Yeah. Oof. And he called them, and they were like, oh, yeah, we'll come get the power line. And they basically just chopped the tree, chopped the line, and did fucking cut off power, and left just trees and shit. And was like, it's on your property. It's not on... Uh, they cut it's it not to a, It's not our property. If it's like... I think it's like 15 feet off the main road. Yeah, It's technically that's your state. property. Right, right. Yeah. So they, like, chopped it all and threw it in his fucking yard, and it was like... 
you guys got to get this shit up. And he's like, well, it's not on state property. It's, uh, your property line starts here. What a, God, what a stupid ass <laughs> loophole is that? Well, guys, instead of loading all this stuff, let's just move it one foot this way. <laughs> it's technically his property. He's got to deal with it. So, Yeah. Let's Good go thing he's an old country boy, though. He took fucking four-wheelers and chainsaws out there. And was like, God damn it, Shut motherfucker. Up. That's the one time knowing country people comes in handy. Not the one time. I'm sorry. Stuff like that is when, like, country, Man, country that's, people that's, get shit. I think shit. it was the same time when, uh, shit like that happened on my road. And, like, the the community banded together. We're like, what are we going to do? Fucking four-wheeler guy showed up with, like, three chainsaws next door. And he's like, here we go. Yeah, doesn't one of your neighbors own a fucking caterpillar? Yeah, thing? that guy. Yeah. I and bet, then boy, got, I bet he was, just even, he was just like, this is my time. No, um, actually, my dad. You know, he got that new truck. He was like, we was like, how are we going to move this tree? My dad was like, I got a log chain in a truck. We fucking log chained it to that fucking... <laughs> What'd y'all move it to? Just, uh, we had to pull it off the road because it was like people trying to get out. Oh, so it had, okay, I got you. We had to move it, so he just fucking took off. You know, he had to show off, too. He just took off down the road dragging like a whole tree. Shit's got Wi-Fi, too, if you want to help Damn, we went on some tangents. No, but, but I remember, uh, do you remember when Steven got his truck stuck down there at the, oh, yeah, the, at the pond. pond? And was like... I can't do anything about it. And like literally the next day, he got a whole bunch <laughs> of people four with four wheelers like yep. just chained to it and pulled them out of the that pond. That is a that's not a good area either. God, that could that had to have been a nightmare to get that truck out of there. That Why was, did he pull it into a pond? He was like, "I'm gonna put the back tire in the pond and spin water." He no, I'm talking about the the other time when he um, he blew the the transmission. That, that's up. when he did it, right? He tried to pull into the water to show off. No, it was a different time. That, that happened before that one when he. Oh, and we dug him out. Did we dig him out then? I wasn't there for that. Oh. You and, I think you and Cabe dug him out or whatever. The time I was talking about it was like me, you, Stephen, Cole, and I think Chase was there too. We rode on the back of his truck down there. And like he was trying to like go up and then back out and then I guess go up around another way, but then blew the blew out first and reverse. <laughs> he on just his, revved it and dropped it and yeah. And that's when he was like, three hundred dollars. <laughs> Take somebody, my truck, I'm not dealing with somebody it. Somebody, I don't give me, somebody give me three hundred dollars. This truck's yours right now. Yeah. Good old good times. Missed them times. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry for tangents. There's no one to happen. How the fuck did we get on that? Tactics. Jesse, uh, moving, houses. I used to live there. I used to work there. Okay. Yep. That's how the tangents happen. Yeah, that's fucking it's wild. A slippery slope. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Um, so, yeah, Dark Age, Age, uh, Dark Crystal Age of Resistance is coming out. Uh, I think it actually came out yesterday. Um, or today, because it's Tuesday. Uh, it comes out uh, for Switch, Xbox One, PS4, and PC. So, a little bit of everything for everybody. Oh, yeah. If you're a Dark Crystal fan and a fan of Fire Emblem type things, he said Fire thing. Emblem when he was explaining it, but I didn't. That didn't look like Fire Emblem to me. It's grid, grid based. Yeah, the grid stuff, but yeah. I don't know. Tactic uh, tactics. They have like elevations and shit. Mm-hmm. So. Then it was complicated. And I couldn't do it. Love Final Fantasy. Couldn't do tactics. Just I guess I'm just not really a strategy gamer. You know, I don't like them strategy games. Um, there's that word is. <laughs> there that word is. There that word is. There it went. There it goes. And now introducing the all new future. There went. Uh, Zombie Army Four uh, is coming out for Xbox, PC, and PS4. Never really knew about these fucking games, but this one's kind of getting a little bit of publicity out. Um, I watched a little trailer on it and a little little talk about where they're like, "Hey, I'll tell you about this game." And his first words were exactly why I've never paid attention to this series. He's like, this game's title probably turns off everybody because of how generic and stupid it sounds. <laughs> what is this game? Zombie Army 4. Like, I read that title and I'm like, what is this, a $5 game I pick up at Walmart and a bargain <laughs> bed? You know, because that's what it sounds like. Yeah. And even the case looks generic as shit. Cause zombie like, face. Yeah, zombie face with a war helmet on. So, um, didn't look appealing, never sounded appealing. I feel like I've heard of the old ones, but... Anyway, this is made by the same guys that do the Sniper Elite games. A mm-hmm. um, lot of detail in it. Yeah, it's even it, got that old uh, slow mo bullet. Yeah, thing that, that, that camera up. angle when you fire like a good shot and it slow mos yeah. and explodes. It seems like a never ending horde game with a little bit of kind of uh, like there arcade. Is, there is that mode, but it's also it actually has a story mode too. Oh really? Yeah, I believe it's like nine chapters. You do like it's kind of the Left 4 Dead thing where you start out here, you go through, you have to fix this to progress this to do was that, this that's thing. probably what I watch but it had like a combo system well I was watching my boy Ray stream it did it have the combo thing where it was like chaining yeah, together yeah, and this, then as the he the score multiplier yeah thing. and then as he the more chain or the more score he got it would like unlock like mm. weird weapon 
like, things you know, real fast. Upgrades or, and stuff. Yeah. Perk boosts. So kind of like an things. arcade thing. I would, that's, I guess, how I would describe that. Yeah, it looks pretty, looks fun. Definitely something we'd want to play with homies and stuff. Yeah. He was just doing it single player. Boy. But it still, look, it still looked fun. That's about it. Yeah. Sniping some zombies' heads. Some of them screenshots looked. Yeah, neat. oh yeah, definitely. They definitely got their blood physics down pat or something. Did you ever play any of the sniper ones? Uh, just demos and stuff. Uh, I think I played one for the PS4 back when uh, it was out for. I wanted to call it gold, but it's not gold. What is it? Plus. That game kind of pissed me off a little bit with its ballistic system. Because uh, I remember playing the demo and it was like. I think it was like the first or second one, whichever one. They, I mean, they all pretty much took place during World War II or something, right? Uh, I'm not going to even... Maybe. Yeah, well, I'm, the one I played, I think, was like... It took part in like Germany or something. World War II era. He was running around with the bolt-action rifle, whatever. And I was like... I just remember at the start of the demo, there's like two guys like talking in like a room or something. And they finish up their conversation and kind of like walk stereotypically video gamely like with their backs turned to each other and stuff and it's like you had to time your shot to like artillery fire that was off in the distance so that oh, it wouldn't draw neat, attention yeah. I mean yeah that, that's all neat and everything but it's like from where you were to where they were could have been more than like three four hundred feet and you still had to factor in like bullet drop and wind distance and stuff and oh, it's like yeah. and it's like I mean, I'm not a marksman or anything, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure, like, 400 feet, the wind and gravity's not going to affect my bullet that much. It's in the air for, like, maybe a point zero two of a second, you know? Like, so, they just kind of, I mean, I get it, that's that's cool physics and stuff behind it, you know, definitely for, like, longer range shots, but when it's that close, like, really gotta fucking fuck my bullet up like that? Like, come on. I think I've tried to play... Whichever one came out for plus forever ago on uh, the hardest difficulty, mm-hmm. and it's like you cannot mess up. It's like you have to be like an actual lone man sniper guy. Yeah, and you know, like I, I vaguely remember. Yeah, you probably had to do the sound thing where you have to time your shots. But I think I I sat at that for a couple of hours just because it was fun. It was really intense. I was like, I'm gonna at least get this one on like the hardest difficulty. I'm gonna do it. I didn't do it. You know, it was just fucking I can, impossible. I can see. I can see where that would be rough. Yeah. Because especially with, like, uh, I remember in the demo, like, it would give you hints on, like, where to aim the reticle for the bullet to hit wherever you wanted it to. You know, like, oh, with this windage and this bullet drop and whatever the fuck, you kind of want to aim your reticle right about here, you know? And it's like, oh, okay, easy. But, with, <laughs> but, without, but without all that shit, it'd be like, what's the earth rotation? How hot is it? What's the humidity? Just set it to flat earth, man. <laughs> You know. There you go. Yeah, you ain't gotta worry about the curvature, man. He's so fine. <laughs> Flatter. <laughs> yep. Do you like that? That's a good one. Yeah. At least, I, at least I got one. <laughs> I got one in an hour and ten. You know. So yeah, that game looks cool. Um, probably won't get it. Not my cup of tea. Don't know it. Don't have that nostalgia for it. Don't. So. Definitely. I mean, it definitely does look fun though. Yeah. But just not my cup of tea. So. Speaking of games that look fun and crazy, this one just caught my eye. I think this came out on Steam a while ago. Um, I was just perusing uh, news, 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 as I do New for this. Games. And uh, this came up for a PS4 trailer. And if I was still a hardcore PS4 person, mm-hmm. this would probably would have been on my radar. Because this just looks fucking nuts. It reminds me of, do you remember Costume Quest? Uh-uh. You ever played the Costume Quest? Okay, well, this is harder than If you remember Costume Quest... Um, Little cartoony kids that went out trick or treating one night, and their costumes uh, turned them into whatever they their costumes were for RPG battles. So this one dude was like a transformer. He's a kid. He's walking around like a box. Uh huh. But then when you get in a battle, he's a motherfucking transformer with missiles because oh, nice. RPG I, mechanics. Yeah. Imagination. Yeah, basically. Yeah. And then when you win, they fall over and cry, and you take their candy. Nice. Costume quest. That was like the whole game. It was all based on Halloween night. But uh, this kind of has a little bit of that imagination. Uh, you play as siblings, mm-hmm. and I guess your bike is like your customizable like weapon. Dude, I, I don't know. It looked fucking wild. You to see, me. during that trailer, we seen um, at one point they were riding bikes, and I was like, okay, knights and bikes. Like I, I'm following, but then there was like fucking mini games and a turn-based battle, and it was like a, a whole bunch of shit that would fucking. 
at crazy. some point I they, they showed them customizing a, their bikes. And they, battled like they, a, putting... they battled a backhoe at one point. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck is going on? Like, but they customized their bikes, and I was assuming that, you know, knights, knights and bikes. Mm-hmm. So it would be like riding knights. And But uh, the art to the game looked really cool. It just caught my fucking eye, man. And I thought originally it was going to be like a turn-based RPG, but upon further inspection, it looks like it's gaining more of its, like, what would you call that? Like an action RPG? Where instead of being turn-based, you're in, like, a just a small circle and you... Kind of like yeah, a, yeah, kind of like an action RPG type thing. Like Tales, the Tales I was going to say Tales, but what did they say specifically? Secrets of Mana? Well, that's that's one of the movies they referenced to the thing. Like they said it was like Goonies inspired or Secrets yeah. of Mana inspired. I mean, in terms of... I couldn't... I didn't see enough of the combat to like really grasp it because it went by... Fuck, there was a lot of information to take in just off of that one trailer, but it did look cool. I love the aesthetic of it. Oh, yeah. That's why I said it, it reminded me a lot of Costume Quest. I wish I could have showed you a clip from Costume Quest. Cause... Did you uh, did you play A Night in the Woods at all? Or no. hear anything about that game? I heard a lot about it. That's uh, that's kind of the with same. The one with the fox and stuff and yeah. something to do with either genders or something. It was like it's a story. It's just basically like a little story driven like little snippet thing. Does it have something to do with... It's, it was the animals, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah. didn't it have... It had some implication of like gay, trans, something going on in there, didn't it? Or am I thinking of another game? I don't think. I think you're thinking of something else. Okay. This was more like a. It was more about like the small, the small town syndrome type deal, like stereotypes, routine, routine lives, oh, okay. existentialism, stuff like that. That kind of seemed like a little bit what this game was hitting at because they seemed to put a lot of emphasis on the map and like small that sort of like small town community type thing there for a little bit. So that's kind of what. I seen. I seen I think that. It's, produced, I it's produced by Double Fine. I don't know that. Uh, you do, Psychonauts, all the adventure games. Oh, okay, yeah, you know, cool. Double Fine. What the fuck is his name? Tim Schafer. There you go. Runs that company. Double Fine Productions, owned by Bro Tim Schafer. Here we go. You ready to play Connect the Dots? All right, here we go. I'm pretty good at this game, actually. Tim Schafer sounds a little bit like Tim Burton. Mm-hmm. Do you hear what happened to Johnny Depp? Oh, really? I think I read up. It was. It wasn't a green tech story, but it was, it was. I mean, did you hear what happened to him in the news and stuff? Go for it. Apparently, they're trying to get Johnny Depp off of uh, like Pirates of the Caribbean type stuff. They're they're giving him the boot. They're doing I the. Jam- they, I thought they did that. Already. They're, they're doing the James Gunn thing because apparently he was in like some domestic dispute thing with his wife or something, and she flooded social media with like, "Oh, he he beat me in domestic violence and stuff." And it turned out that she was actually, like, the one, like, uh, what do you call it, Propaga- instigating it yeah. and everything. So it's like, and then Johnny Depp is, meanwhile, just, like, kind of left on the sidelines, like, well, what do I do now? She started the, the domestic disputes, but here I am with no f- film licenses. It's my favorite character. So, mm. sucks to be sucks to be him. My heart goes out to him. I like Johnny Depp. How did that connect the dots to that? You said Tim Schafer. Yeah. You said Tim, like that, and I immediately thought Tim Burton. Johnny Depp, Tim Burton, they tight. Are they? What do you mean? Are they? Every Tim Burton movie that's ever existed, Johnny Depp has been in just about. Really? Yeah. Okay. I'm take your word for it. Yeah. I mean. Uh. Aside from like Nightmare Before Christmas, I think. Johnny Depp's been in just about every okay. Tim Burton movie. All right. Was uh, Sweeney Todd a Tim Burton film? Pretty sure. Okay. You don't have to Google I was just wondering. I'm going to Google it. Because all I thought of when you said that, I thought of uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. I was like, I don't remember Johnny Depp being in that. And then I don't know a lot of Tim Burton films, to be honest with you. Uh, Coraline, wasn't that a Tim Burton film? Was Johnny Depp in that? Probably not. Yeah, Sweeney Todd was a uh, Tim Burton. Okay. I never watched that either. Don't do the Cor- movies. Coraline? Yeah. It, it, was, it was all right. Don't do the movies. Tim Burton did Scissor Hands. Edward Scissor Hands. Oh yeah, was that Johnny yeah. Depp? That's Johnny Depp. Okay. Uh, Corpse and the Bride, Beetlejuice, Alice in Wonderland, Charlie and Chocolate, the new Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. You know the one. I Johnny do. Depp. The one. With Johnny. There you go. The one with the wife beater. Uh, he did the. He did one of the better Batman's. I think. I like Jack Nicholson as Bat as uh, Joker. That's weird. Mars, it's it's Mar- weird did, to go back and. He did the Mars Attacks. Really. James and the Giant Peach, nine. 
He did nine. I can see him doing nine. Yeah. Nine actually had. You know, what we never talked about him on weekly. We'll we'll save it for after the news. Okay. He also did Abraham Lincoln. Uh, vampire Zomb- zombie killer or va- vampire? Vampire. Hunter? Hunter, yeah. Speaking of vampire, so Hunter, not not all of them because there's a lot more Tim Burton movies than I even know about, but a lot of Tim Burton movies have. Uh, Johnny Remind Dick. me of Vampire Hunters, and we're gonna finish up the last piece of news. We'll just do a little bit of ranting, okay? If that's okay with the audience and me and you. Um. So yeah, Knights and Bikes, uh, cool aesthetics was on Steam, but if you're stuck on consoles and all that good jazz, it's actually only coming to PS4, which is weird because I thought Double Fine was purchased by Microsoft two years ago at E3 when they did their whole "I'm gonna buy up everything, we're THQ Nordic." Bye. Um, but yeah, so THQ Nordic specifically, specifically Nordic. Ain't, ain't it them? Aren't they the ones that bought up all the? Maybe THQ Nordic purchased like every fucking dead no, IP. I, just, I, mean, I was I was making fun of the uh, what do you call it the postscript of that. Oh, like THQ Nordic, uh, Ubisoft Montreal, Ubisoft oh, okay. uh, yeah. Quebec or whatever. But yeah, they bought up every fucking dead IP but over the past five or ten years. That's why we're getting Battle for Bikini Bottom this year. And that's also why we're getting... Uh, Bro, that's a game that gets speedrun a lot, too. Actually. What the fuck is that alien game? I know that... Um, fucking... Uh, where he plays Zim? Yeah, well, no, Zim... Not, not Zim. God Zim, damn it. Zim is, Zim is your commander, though. Right, right, right. You're, you play as Crypto. Shit. Destroy All Humans? Yes. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Yeah, they bought up the rights for that game. A bunch of other games. So, it's crazy. Neat. Yeah. It's a cool game, Destroy All Humans. Didn't play the second one. But, yeah, that's why I was kind of questioning how the fuck this is only on published by... I don't know. Connect those fucking dots. Who the fuck's doing that? I'll pick that game up. Will you? Yeah. Really? Nice and bikes. Really? Yeah. Tell us how it is. I could totally pick it up. But where would I find the fucking time? Anyway. Uh, PS4's not even plugged up. Well, it's it? on Steam. Um, oh, true. This one was the last minute. Just put it on here while I was dabbling for news. Dawn of Fear is coming to PS4. Um, I don't know what I can say about it other than it is absolutely Resident Evil. Definitely somebody's homage to like uh, those tank control type. It has the games fixed camera like angles. Uh, it looks like the tank controls, inventory mm-hmm. management, Puzz- puzzles. puzzles. The only bad thing is it, the, the game doesn't look that great. But I think me being a big old school Resident Evil fan, I could totally see myself fucking grabbing that. It did uh, to elaborate. It, it looked. It looked good, like graphic wise. It's I not guess. like yeah, it's not terrible. It's not like you're going back to PS One. Yeah, no, no, but it's it just looks it lacks refinement. It has something. the polish. It's, it's, it's just, just it's just like the hallways and like environments kind of looked bland. Like they lacked the decoration. What did I say earlier? Like it looks like an early cinematic cutscene for like a PS Two game. Yeah, where everything is rendered and it looks good. And you're like, man, that looks good. But but, it's, but there's just nothing. Else there's there. nothing like to detail it. Yeah. It's just like a, a, I don't know. It's hard like to describe. At one, point, just... at one point, he was like, uh, he was coming out of one room and going like, he was going down like a hallway and it was like a hardwood floor, which was super detailed and shiny and everything and like, but the walls were just bare. It was just like one just flat. Wall no like and, texture and, details in the wall. Yeah. No no like anything no to them. Paintings or like any sort of like scratch flare scuffs. Or yeah, anything. no blood on the wall. You know, yeah. this is a zombie apocalypse. What the fuck? How the fuck is these walls just pristine and look just smooth? Yeah, but... Polyna- pol- say the po- word. Polygonal? There you go. Polygonal? Oh, yeah. However you Polygonal, I think. Depends on if you're in the UK or not, I guess. I guess. Aluminium. Yeah. Aluminium. Yeah. Not to 60. What? <laughs> Zero to 60. <laughs> not, not to Whoa. 60. Whoa! Uh, did you see that post on Facebook the other day? We used to play a lot of Rainbow Six Siege with uh, some people, as we like to say, across the pond. Yeah, that's right. what we used to like to say. Um, we had a hilarious conversation one time. Uh, I said, "Man, I'm gonna go get me some biscuits and gravy." And they were like, "I don't want to do their accents because I don't know if it's offensive to people." Is that offensive? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not. I'm just gonna fucking skip it because I made a big deal out of it. Anyway, he was just like, "You're gonna go get what?" And I'm like, "Biscuits and gravy." They're like, "What the fuck is biscuits and gravy?" I'm like, "It's it's biscuits with with gravy on top of it," and they're like. Oh, well, biscuit to them is, yeah, like, a, is it's, like a cookie, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it took us the longest to decipher that. And they're like, you can't be putting your, your biscuits in gravy. I'm like, why not? It's a perfect combo. They're like, what? <laughs> you don't put your biscuits in milk? And I'm like, I like milk with my biscuits. It's okay. You know, it's like cornbread <laughs> that's, and milk. Yeah, that's fine, He's yeah. like, cornbread? We're talking about biscuits. And I'm like, what the fuck they're is saying, wrong? Are you, are you talking about biscuits? I'm like, what the fuck? And then I think Ryan came in and was like, 
wait, mate, mate, mate. And this whole thing, he's like... <laughs> he's talking about bis- bread biscuits. He's like, we're bread biscuits. And then we broke down this whole, like, culture barrier of, like... He thought in his mind that I'm, like, taking just like a, a, a batch Chips of, Ahoy. like, Chips Ahoy and pouring <laughs> breakfast gravy on top of them. And I'm like, my God. Yeah. <laughs> that is rough. I'm sorry you thought that. I'm sorry I gave you the mental <sighs> image of that. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. And then uh, somebody on my Discord the other day, they posted a picture of, uh, fuck what the fuck it was, uh, tea and crumpets, crumpets and tea. And I was like, that just looks like a half-cooked fucking pancake. And he told me that I'm not far off. You know how, like, when you ever cooked a pancake and on the top it starts to bubble? Yeah. And it looks like it's almost done. And I'm like, and you gotta flip it. Mm-hmm. Well, they showed me these crumpet things. Mm-hmm. It just looked like that. Yeah. Served on a plate. But normally, tea. They're, normally they're only about, like... Yeah, it was mm-hmm. smaller. Yeah. But I'm like, what the fuck is that? Is that a half-cooked pancake? And he's like, you're not half <laughs> wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> like, man. Cross the pond, man. They got some, they got some weird things going on. It's different. Yeah, it's different. But uh, back to the Dawn of Fear. Um, I think I, I give it an approval just because nostalgia for old school Resident Evil. I mean, it looked solid. It looked all right. It just just a little the uh, environments looked a little a little bland. I think it'll be completely passable as long as you're uh, you like that old school res stuff. You know, I'm a huge fan of what they're doing with the Resident Evil stuff now. But I think I'll always have that nostalgia for. Fixed camera angles and tank controls. God, I mean, not as, me. as horrible not, as that sounds. Not me, man. Yeah. Um, now I wanted to uh, just take the time to uh, rant because we were talking about fucking something and then I had something else I wanted to bring up but now I can't fucking remember it. Uh, the topics on the table? Uh, I don't have any. Do you have any? Damn. Yeah. Yeah, I do. You do? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Fucking damn, I thought we was done. I didn't have any topics to the table, but guess what? You don't bring news, but you bring, I bring topics, topics to the table. This is a segment where you, the viewer, the listener can send in your topics and, uh, you know, you get our opinion on uh, whatever you send in. You can send it in through Twitter, through Facebook, through YouTube, through whatever you find me on. Hell, some people send them uh, straight through uh, a Twitch channel, but I forgot that. Don't do not do that. He said, you forgot my question. I'm like, when did you ask me a question? I asked it on Twitch. Oh, man, when I was streaming for six hours straight and two and a half hours in, you sent me a question? My bad. I am a bad person. I didn't jot it down. Yeah, you got to jot it down. I didn't jot it down. I'm sorry, Joey. Uh, Jesse sends us a question. (gasps) Yeah, we're just talking about him. Yeah. Well, uh, I've already read it, obviously, but I've got a good feeling I already know what your answer is going to be. He says, what video game has affected your life the most and why? Well, go ahead and answer this question for me. Mag. Absolutely. All right. Yeah, I knew that was gonna. Go I'll give you. I'll give you time to, to stew on that, cause. Oh, well, why? I mean. Well, yeah, that's what I meant. Like. I mean, I got it. Okay, sure, fine. You go ahead. And, you, do, you, you do go, yours, because I feel like I've talked about Mag enough. But all right, I well, feel like I need a different game, but the most absolutely Mag. Well, no, when he sent it in, I thought first off, it's a really good question. Uh, I've never really like given it a lot of thought, but as I was thinking about it, I was like. Man, there's been a couple of games. It was hard for me to pick one. You know what I mean? The first one that came to my head, I don't know why, but as I started thinking about it more, it kind of made sense. RuneScape. Yeah. Because around the time of RuneScape, like 6th, 7th grade, RuneScape basically just introduced me to the internet. You know what I mean? That whole culture. Yeah, the culture. There you go. The Numa Numas and the man. Yeah, Yeah, because around the same time, YouTube had just started off. Uh, MySpace was becoming like a thing, so like as I was playing RuneScape, a lot of farming and RuneScape grinding and stuff. Whenever I had some downtime, play something on YouTube, check my MySpace thing. You know, you kind of you were lucky, yeah, kind of have a computer that would do all that. Yeah, mine learned, struggled on le- RuneScape. Kind of learned the tricks of the trade a little bit. So remember right clicking it and going to low <laughs> when it used yeah. to run in, yeah. in that. No, it doesn't. I don't think it does that anymore. That'd but. be nothing for a computer now. Oh yeah, but uh. So that's that's kind of that's one game I thought of like just in terms of like kind of introduced me to the internet realm I, I guess you would say uh, got to put Halo Two on there you know land parties okay so I see what you're going for I'm glad I'm glad I let you answer first yeah so like in terms of like land parties like just social social stuff wise Halo Two Halo Three got to be up there middle school high school days bro we was we was all about it basically it was just every weekend it was like 
Whose house are we going to this time? Jake's, Jesse's, Wyatt's, whoever. Uh, Chris's, what are we doing? What are we playing? You know, Halo 2, Zombies, whatever, Team Slayer, Sniper, Shotgun, whatever. So, that was pretty, that was pretty hype. Loved them days, missed them days. A lot of good memories from that time. Uh, in terms of, like, personal affection-wise, gotta go with Deadly Premonition. Because, as of today... Deadly Premonition. Okay, are we... T- is that, that really? I don't want to. I don't want to call it anything and offend you, but is that that awkward a, janky game? It was a janky. Yeah. Okay. Horror, it was a janky horror. Yeah. Okay. Game. I know which one we're talking about. It got ported to newer consoles not long ago. I think. Yeah. Well, it was. It was based off of uh, Twin Peaks. They took a lot of inspiration from Twin Peaks, the uh, TV show. Um. Yeah. Whatever that is. Yeah. It's it's all good. It flew under the radar. It's one of those Tumblr pieces that everybody you know has got nostalgia for or whatever. But um. I guess I can tell the I guess I can tell the story of it real quick. Thanks, Windows, for the virus and threat protection at an hour and thirty minutes into the podcast. Looks like you're good though. Yeah, thanks. But uh you remember the Gamefly things when that was when that yeah. was like it? So I hopped on the Gamefly ba- bandwagon because I was like, bro, that seems like nothing but good stuff to me. Yeah, I remember doing but that. But but as it turns out, you know, you can only get you can't get the games you think you can. Yeah, because they're all gone. Right. I remember when, trying yeah. that and all the new yeah, games yeah. are always out for and it has like an available time, and there is no available time because you don't pay for the games yeah, themselves. Yeah, because essentially you pay they for a month. Yeah, they and only you can have keep a, them as long as you they want. They only have a certain number of like quantity whenever a new game comes out. So like trying to get a hold of it, you're going to be on like a a waiting list. Yeah, a two or three week waiting a week? list at at least at least yeah at least stress that. Cause... So I got fed up with that, and eventually I was just like, well, I'm going to just like try to I'm going to get some games that are obscure or crazy or whatever. You know, might as well get my money. That's for how it. I tried uh, Mass Effect for the first time. Yeah, well, there you go. So I, I was like, lost. couldn't do it. <laughs> at the time, I only had the uh, the 360. That was like my big my big console thing. So I was just kind of like scrolling the backlogs of the games they had available, and I seen I seen Deadly Premonition, and it immediately reminded me of like Silent Hill or something like that. Cause, yeah, know, but wacky. It was it was definitely wacky. But the reason I brought up Deadly Premonition was because and it may be janky or like rough around the edges or kind of clunky and stuff. But my God, was it was its atmosphere and just like characters just to die for. I loved it. As of today, the only game I can think of that has brought me to tears for the uh, the ending. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, dude, it was emotional. It was rough in a good way. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Um, I, was that was that all of yours? Yeah. I tried to pick like I tried to pick three that was like I don't know, kind of. Skill set, friends and stuff wise, and then like a personal affection kind of thing. Uh, it's gonna be hard know, for me I know, yeah, because I, I didn't. Yeah. I don't feel like I had that long to to dwell on the question. But while you were talking, I was trying to go back in the recesses of my mind. Um, can, you, can you say the question again for me? Yeah, just, just to refresh it. That way, I feel like my answers are somewhat more validated or valid. Because I know you can. Valid. I know you can rant about mag, mag for yeah. about like thirty. Minutes. I think I. I know at least. I want to say one or two. Jesse says, "What video game has affected your life the most, and why?" Yeah, it was it was hard for me to just pick one. Also, well, I want to I want to go back to, I guess, the Super Nintendo era. Mm-hmm. And at first, I want to say Super Mario World Two, Yoshi's Island, um, because. I remember being a kid, and I think that was like the first game I got addicted to. And we rented it from a store, and I went back and played it. Brewers? Uh, It was the one beside... Radio Shack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That one. I don't even know what the fuck that one was called. But I I remember renting that a couple of times. And then I was like, wait a minute. That place is a nail salon now. They do do good work. No, actually, uh, that place is... uh, Radio Shack is a nail salon. That's that's what I... Okay. That's what I meant. Yeah, Yeah, the, uh, the, the other one is a fucking... Uh, Mexican restaurant. Uh, then I remembered I went back and I purchased, uh, I rented Kirby Superstar so many times and my dad bought it from them. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And I had that and I kept playing that over and over and over and over and over. And I, I think that was like, had to be like my first addiction to a, a single game as a kid. It had multiplayer. My uh, my cousins would come over. We would we'd play that. I think that's one of the first games I ever played like all fucking night. I remember we ran through it two player all fucking night till the next day when his dad showed up in the driveway and he had to leave and we're like, man, ah, I need we, more Kirby. Yeah, 
uh, I, it's just still to this day, that's like my favorite fucking Kirby game. Um, I, I love the, the tracks from it. That, uh, that wheelie song can always make me get to the feels. I've showed that clip a couple of times. The wheelies give the feelies. Yeah, man, that, that was the Yeah, bro, good little... fucking poggers in chat, bro. Let's get God, like... dude, I had to Google that the other day. It's poggers? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's one that gets thrown around a lot. I had to Google it because I just, where I'm now into this Twitch culture. I mean, it's basically just like awesome, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Poggers, right. bro. Yeah, fucking what, dude? Come on. Yeah, come on. <laughs> How are you going to stream and not know the, the lingo, man? Come yeah, on. I had to Google it, man. Poggers, yeah. my doggers, no, dude. Let's go. Nothing makes you feel old than having to Google it. So, you know. What are these kids saying this <laughs> day? Pogs, bro. Um, so that was the, that's definitely got, got got something somewhere in my heart for being the start of my entire life, really. I guess when it comes to gaming, mm-hmm. why do I not own a hard copy of that game? I don't know. It what happened me. to the copy? Oh, I thought. Did you Dude, not you buy- know what happened to the copy of that game? And uh, Wyatt's uh, sister. They uh, Mindy. Yeah, that when they lived at the trailer park. Travis, I we, we was going to a retro thing, and I'd bring my console over there. And uh, Travis, something, dude, something, somehow Travis borrowed uh, a bunch of my Super Nintendo games, and then I just never got them back. Ah. Yeah. On that same note, I'm pretty sure I still have, like, two or three of Jake's games that I've just never given back. Yeah. We all still talk to each other, so it's... I mean, yeah, but it's just it's, it was just one of those things. God knows how... I would never find that. But it still had the sticker on it. From that fucking... The rental place. Yeah, the rental place. Yeah. That's how I always knew. Um, I also want to... I guess I'll just move forward in time. Ocarina of Time. Mm-hmm. Uh, I used to go to my friend Cody Ellington's house when I was growing up. I wow. used to be... Yeah. That's... Wow. Yeah. That's a name. Yeah. Uh, I used to go over there all the fucking time. He used to come over here and uh, his brother used to get the big boy games. So whenever new games would come out... Cody would get <laughs> the big boy. Well, I say that because <laughs> we got stuck with the N sixty four, and uh, I think his name was Cleve. He got um, the PS one, mm-hmm. and he would never let us come in there and play because he was he was like at least five six years older than us. So we're you know yeah, so in elementary to, school. Yeah, to him, y'all are like little yeah. Kids. yeah. But like I remember like we grace his room, and he was really big into anime. He used to have like uh, Gundam sets and. Uh, VHS copies, uh, like the actual ones with the sleeves that made like a like a manga looking like setup over there. Oh yeah, where well, you have the, where like, the back, like the back, the back, the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah, he had DBZ and Gundam Wing all set up. And bro, those Gundam kits aren't nothing to fuck around with. Have you ever seen them? I've seen them, but I've never put Jake's, them together. Jake's put a few of them together. They're, they're goddamn rough, dog. They're like Legos on steroids. But uh, I used to be we peek into his room, and be like, man, what do you, what do you got? Get out of my room, man. We got. And like, oh, you're playing, that's Resident Evil. I see that in there. There, There's blood in that game. Oh, you know, how is he playing this in his room by himself? You know, I gotta, I'd have to have the door open. Anyway, um, but I went over to uh, Cody's house and he had Ocarina of Time. It was the first time I I think I'd ever seen the game. And uh, that's kind of what made me like need an N64. I was still on the SNES Right, you know, and I went over there in the full 3D and the music, and still the music to this day is amazing yeah, to me. It's, it's some of the best. Yeah, yeah. I, it's actually my ringtone. One of them, I think it's uh, it's Lost Woods. It's a classic, you know. Um, but I remember that moment of my life like so vividly, like walking into his room and seeing that game on the screen and being like, "Damn, this is crazy!" This you know, is, games can do this. Yeah, and yeah. and that was always, uh, you know, like I said, that that stuck with me and. I was terrible at it because you cannot just pick up and play a Zelda game when someone's halfway through it doing something. Right. Because God knows you have no. Oh my God! Fun. How does the Z targeting work? This camera? What? You know, you got There's items that do specific here. things for certain things. Anyway, but uh, that that always held something in my heart, and that's why I got an N sixty four, and I had to go through that whole thing myself. Um, and then I want to just move up. I'm just thinking like generation wise. And my next thing, I've, I've got to talk about Mag. And yeah, I don't want I'm this joking. to run around that long, but Mag did something that I never thought that it would fucking do because I got that game from somebody that bought it and hated it. I remember playing the beta for Mag when it came out for PS3, and I was like, man, this is pretty fucking cool. This is crazy how this shit can do this, you know? And then uh, my by, friend... By all accounts, it shouldn't work. Like looking, back <laughs> on it, like, looking back on it now, like, how the fuck did that work? I, I don't know. Well, well, it's frames were shit. But um, 
my friend gave it to me for fucking free because he didn't like it. And I'm like, okay. And then I somehow picked it up and I found this community in there and it became larger than the game itself. I got into this, this clan system to where we treated each other like fucking family and it was wild. There was a point in my life where like my real friends knew that I had online friends and Ooh. I talked to them more than that. So like, my have, friend Cabe and them guy. would come over and be like, who are you talking to? I'd be like, oh, it's Jester Gargoyle and uh, Spurge. And he'd be like, oh, well, tell them I said hey. And then I'd go to their house and be like, what are you doing? You've been playing Mag? And I was like, yeah. He's like, you play with Spurge and them? And I'm like, yeah. You know, they knew my fucking online people's names. Right. Didn't even play with them. So that's how big that affected my life. And the way we ran the clan was just otherworldly. I mean, it's almost like an MMO would, but it was just a shooter. We had each other's phone numbers. We we had, like, I had a notebook with, like, info to get in contact with this guy. If I couldn't get in contact with this guy, I had everyone's, this guy. I had backup numbers. We had a website at some point where we could have, we had merch for our, you know, for our clan. Whoa, well, y'all had merch? We had fucking merch. I yeah, wish I would have bought a Weed the Best hoodie or some shit. You should have bought, um. I didn't have a job. And, and it was stuff. actually at a perfect point in my life. Uh, I'm a dropout. Uh, I'm not, that's not an obvious thing, I wouldn't think. But, uh, God, bro, so obvious, bro. What the <laughs> but uh, I dropped out of high school, and um, during the times... I got my GED like before you guys even finished school. Doubt that. No? I graduated early, bro. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, not you, but... So, for the longest time, I just sat here. I didn't have a fucking car. I didn't have a fucking job. But I drank because you know, parents in the South didn't give shit. <laughs> so I'd sit up all fucking day, dude, and I was known for drinking 40s of King Cobra and playing Mag, dog. And it just it was just my family for the longest time was on this game. I, I cannot express how much fun and what it did to make me me, I guess, you know? It's a real, real good sense of community. Yeah, the community brought me together. For a game that really didn't have that much backing, like, Sony dropped it. Like, it didn't do that great. But we found love and fun in such a, I don't know if you want to call it a terrible... You gotta make make your own fun, you know? And that we fucking did. That was the only game that uh, I got told I drink too much. I remember that day. I came in drunk, like, fucking 12 o'clock in the fucking afternoon. I didn't have a job. I get on, like, fuck, what's up, guys? Bunny. Bunny snack. I was bunny snack back in the day. Sir snack now. Uh, Bunny, you fucking drink it again, man. Hell yeah, I'm fucking drinking, dude. And I remember my one of my uh, officers, fellow officers, was like, "Bunny, look, you're gonna have to make an alternate account, or you're gonna have to like not get so drunk all the time." And I'm like, "Why?" He's like, well, we can't have our officers, one of our top members in our clan, just shit faced all the fucking time. And I'm like, "Fuck out of here! I ain't making a goddamn alt account. Look at my KD, KD 1.5, drunk as fuck all the time. Get fuck out my face, man." Sorry, I didn't mean to throw the thing. I got excited. But I used to just mag, 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 mag all day. So that game influenced my life more than any other multiplayer game could probably ever try to do. So I know I've talked about mag a lot So uh, in the past podcasts and stuff. I really hate that there's no way to go back and experience that game. Yeah. Dude, actually, another thing I wanted to put on this list, go back up to the news section real fast. Did you see that... Uh, don't know where to start with this, so I'm just going to start saying words. Uh, back in 2017, Adobe announced that they'll be removing Flash support, basically universally, in 2020. Mm-hmm. So we're about to lose all Flash games ever. Mm-hmm. Uh, some guy has somehow gathered, like, I think it was some crazy number, like 37,000 Flash games, and has preserved them on this website. Interesting. You can download all of them. It's like 200 and some gigs. Of fucking Flash games. And it's got Alien Hominid. It's got our classics. You know, fucking uh, Stick all Figure the, Fighter. All the, all the new grounds things. Yeah, Stick Figure Fighter. Uh, Stick Figure Archery. Remember that one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Trying to shoot the, the fucking bullseye target thing. Well, I, I always remember the one where it had a guy on the other side of the wall. Oh, yeah, yeah you try to shoot each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. You had to arch it over the wall. So, Bro, I spent hella time on them games in high school. Yeah, well, I'm not, I remember before high school, it was more middle school for most of those. Well, like, me. Oh, it, they even got some of the old Cartoon Network games on there, too. Oh, wow, really? Yeah, I don't know how the fuck. The, uh, Samurai Jack game, I remember playing It's that probably one. on there. Yep. Anything Flash is probably downloadable on that list. And I wonder if that's going to shut down the, the Flash section of 4chan. They'll probably be alright, I think. 
Right. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to work. But I would, if anybody, I'm sure, you know, game preservers, preservationists, whatever, they'll probably, they probably already have that downloaded and backed up. But that needs to go somewhere before that website gets shut down because someone's going to hear about it and there's going to be some kind of rights or claims or something to do with, especially when I've seen that Cartoon Network games were on there. Yeah, there's got to be some licensing or something that's going to prevent that from well, being... Well, I, I hope it goes through, because that's, like, history. It's up there. It's yeah, I went to the site today. No, I mean, like, I hope it doesn't get fucked with. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, uh... Yeah, dude, holy shit. Flash, flash games and flashes in general are just, like... That's a good, some that's kids, a good chunk of my internet Yeah, history. some kids don't even know. Yeah, right? That's that shit we were talking about earlier, where you right-click it, set the low, you ran faster. But, um... Yeah, Jesse, Jesse brought up a good question. I liked it. It was hard to just pick one... That's why I said I like I wanted to pick a few that was like hanging with friends. Uh, RuneScape was like the tech skills things for me. Deadly Premonition. I picked Deadly Premonition because it kind of like that's when it clicked for me. Like I've always played games, but like when I seen that and I was like got all emotional and started crying and stuff. I was like, games are a goddamn art form, dog. They tell stories and shit. Like this is more than just clicking buttons and stuff. This is like an unfolding of you know. Yeah. Thing, so. Yeah, I, I just I, like I said, I didn't have a lot of time to think, so I literally just stopped my mind and it, let it show me. I was like, "What, what do you, you remember? Kind of, yeah, what you do you mean. fucking remember?" And like I said, I remember just Kirby, and I remember that uh, Ocarina of Time, and I'll never forget Mac. <laughs> Shout out to Zipper Interactive, responsible for your SOCOM games. If you you don't know, All right, so shut down uh, in uh, twenty thirteen. By so, Sony Interactive. So we're wrapping up with uh, Tangent Times. You told me to remind you of Vampire Hunter. Oh, the, yeah. There was hit. something else, but I can't remember now. Uh, but you uh, checked out that show on Netflix, uh, October the Faction? Huh? October the wi- Faction? I, I think you mispronounced The Witcher. No. Have you been watching The Witcher? Mm, no. Nah. Oh, okay. Yeah, what okay. is it? October Faction? Yeah. <laughs> it's based off a graphic novel? No. I've been watching Cells at Work. Highly recommend. Good anime. Learn a lot about the body. And it's funny. So... Really? And it's dubbed in English. So. Is it? <laughs> sure is. Uh, oddly enough, before I started October Faction, we was on Netflix, me and the girlfriend, and we was like, what are we going to watch? She was like, let's watch Sales at Work. And I was like... Did you really? Did you watch it? Uh, no. I was like, what about this one? <laughs> and we put on October Faction. What's that about? What's, um, that, what's the beats? Basically, these uh, two parents are trying to be part of a secret government organization while raising kids. Um, it's all kind of sketchy at first, and then you realize it takes a while to unveil that they're vampires. But um, <laughs> the Vampires that work for the government? No, no, they're not vampires, but they're hunting vampires. Oh, okay, I got you. Um, it, it shows like little snippets of like the past. It, it, if, did you watch the Umbrella Academy? Like two episodes. I couldn't uh, get into it. Okay. Well, unfortunately, it does seem to have that pacing. Ah. To where it's it's, it's slow. Slow at first. It's slow. It's slow in general, and it saves its fucking hype moments for the ending. I know shows do that on purpose, but I swear, Umbrella Academy and this show do the shit on purpose and terribly, where it's it gets to a good build right at the end, and then it ends the show, and then it starts up in a completely different fucking place for no goddamn reason. In the second episode, third episode, it drops what was happening. And then does some other shit before the show reconnects back to what the fuck was happening. So that, that's why. And I, then you end up building again to another point. Ends episode two, start episode three with a whole new thing. What the fuck's going on? Why aren't we halfway through three? Reconnects with the end of two, and you rinse repeat. And I'm like, man, this sucks. Goddamn, that's just that, that's what was happening. Hell yeah, damn it, <laughs> man, what the hell's going on? I don't like this. What the? Oh yeah, shit. Here we go again. It's a fucking roller coaster ride that's an hour long, and every time I get so excited See, not, and I'm throw not, my hands up, and then then it's back down to gravity again. Yeah, and and I want to know what the fuck's gonna happen because it has hype moments. It's it's fucking it's cool as shit. That's why I couldn't get into the, the Umbrella Academy thing because like the series started out and was like they were they were all gathering for like the dad's funeral or yeah, whatever. Right? I thought that was a cool scene. It was fun. Yeah, but it was like it's like twenty minutes in before anything happened. And then literally it was just like a flashback to like a bank robbery scene or something. And then they kind of rounded it out again. And then literally the episode after that was like 40 minutes of them just kind of walking around the mansion talking to each other very blandly. And then at the end of that episode, the time traveler kid shows up and like fucks up some dudes in a diner. 
And at that point, I was like, dude, I've been watching. I've spent like two hours on two episodes, and like, no, nothing's happened. You know what I mean? And it, it just kind of it tried like, to intrigue you with those moments, and yeah, you were just was, not biting. It, yeah, it's like, dog, I, I watch anime and play video games. Dog. I know what action is. Like, give me something that, like, cool. yeah, this is flashy and stuff. But I mean, that's that's not enough to keep my my interest peaked. You know what I mean? Like, so I kind of that kind of fell by the wayside, and I just never went back and picked it up. Well, I was hoping you'd watch any of October action. Mm-hmm. Can't get Kim to finish it either. Bro, there's so much goddamn shit on Netflix. Like, is it an original series? I'm guessing it's not an original. It's based off a graphic novel. I mean, but is it a Netflix yeah. series? Yeah, yeah. So they have so much of that shit now. It's like it's hard to even know what's good, what's worth watching. You know what I mean? So yeah. don't look up reviews for it. <laughs> That's not a good sign. <laughs> I'm enjoying it for what it is, not for what other people tell me it should be. You know. Um, but you got anything else? I can't. I wish I remembered what the fuck. I had planned, but I don't. Do you have an inkling of an idea of what it would have been about? No. No? At one point, you wanted to talk about a thing, but forgot it. When did you remember wanting to bring up the point? Let's back. I don't think we should should backtrack. We've already wasted an hour and 40 minutes of people's lives. Okay. Well. Uh, Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Well, I guess that about wraps it up for episode 22 of Talking Snacks. Five minutes from now, you're going to be like, God damn it. That's what it was. Uh, Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to stop saying, uh, next episode. Promise. Good luck with that. Bet. Anyway, uh, thank you for tuning in to episode 22. I'm going to wrap this up. Sorry for the tangents. Not really. It's what we do. Um, I'm going to actually start promoting this wildly on Twitter now that I have all these content creator retweet groups. So, hopefully, we'll get an influx of either good and or bad publicity. So, that'll be good. Uh, if you're new to the show, like I said, uh, for Topics to the Table, you can hit me up um, on Twitter, Facebook, wherever you find this video. Uh, I'd be glad to take in your topics, as long as they're gaming related. They can be, you can tilt it, I guess, a bit towards um, pop culture. Just don't go out of the realms of possibilities. Like, I don't want to talk about movies. I mean, anime, I think, would be a little better. Just not just straight up like a movie or more gaming oriented. So. Um, this pro- probably be the last time you hear about sports for a good while. Did we talk about sports today? S- Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, that was just a, you know, weekly, weekly topic. I feel, so. Yeah, we always do the weekly intro. Um, catch me streaming over on twitch.tv forward slash sursnack. Been doing that, trying to bang that, you know, bang that drum, you know, keep fucking that chicken. That's what Greg Miller always said. Um, yeah, so this has been episode 22. Thanks for hanging out with us for a bit. Bye, guys.